It wasn't base boost. God damn it. <laughs> the meme failed. The meme fucking failed. I, I didn't actually, like, promote the stream anyway, so let me just give me a minute. All right, then. Gonna turn off the replay buffer because we're gonna be full on recording this session. All right. All right, all righty, all righty, all righty. Weekend is finally properly here. And I am gonna go absolutely nuts on Atomic Heart today. Last last time we played this, uh, last weekend, uh, I didn't actually have a whole lot of time because there was a lot of things getting in my way. So I didn't actually end up starting until like, what, like 2.45 p.m. my time. But we're getting an early start today. And we are going to crank on with Atomic Heart because I had a lot of fun with it last time. Tomorrow, though, we're going to get going with more One Piece. I'm trying to get through those uh, that game as well as fast as I can. Uh, because next weekend is going to be completely absorbed by Jedi Survivors. And my god, I've been waiting on this game since Fallen Order. Hell, I'm... I'm in, in the in the downtime until the next assignment kicks back up, I might even just like boot up a couple of Fallen Order streams just kind of like get reacquainted, just play through. Who knows? Maybe even just play through the game again at like a lower difficulty setting just to kind of like fuck around. I really hope that they don't that they make the skill tree a lot more diverse. In the upcoming new game. Because the main problem with Jedi Fallen Order was that once you got all the skills, which you could get really easily, really early on in the game, you basically just had to rely on nothing more than your skill and you could just survive. Even on Grandmaster difficulty. The game was unfortunately way too easy. Even on such a high level. But I did also get um, the, du the bl double-bladed lightsaber really fucking early on in the game. So that might have also been why. Uh, but yeah. So that's the plan for not just this weekend, but also the next weekend. Um, I still need to get back to actually editing it as well. Because I have been really, really not doing anything on that end. But for right now, that'll have to wait, because we are gonna get on to this. If it wasn't for the fact that I had work this week, I would have definitely gotten back to this game way earlier. But I really was too busy and, like, way too tired from work to get back to this game sooner. <laughs> la 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 la. I mean, yeah, it's a video game. D d don't reproduce what happens in the fucking video game. It's it kind of says without. It's kind of like obvious, isn't it? I still don't know what his what his outfit is supposed to like represent. But either way, we're getting back right to it. Kicking off the recording. And for, for the recording side of things, uh, in case it wasn't obvious, spoilers are bannable. Uh, backseating is, like, you get, a, you get a harsh warning. And just in general, just don't be a cunt. So, last time we left off, we had just... Actually, let me just lower the, the sensitivity. There we go, much better. Uh, last time we left off, uh, we had just gotten out of the, um, the, the research facility, because we needed to get ourselves, like, equipped with weaponry, 
I kind of went crazy and like kind of like got a crap ton of update like upgrades really early on. Like, yep. Like the Swede is like very much high leleled at this point. The KS twenty three is pretty alright. I still need to level up the PM a bit more. The Electro has probably the actually not the most upgrades, but definitely the most like versatile upgrades. Uh, I got 18 shotgun rounds, 2 PM mags, no AK rounds, although that should be in storage. Oh. Also, it is fucking loud in my headphones, holy shit. Uh, what was it to do the scan? Was it alt? Yeah, alt. So yeah, this dude has been killed. All the loot. So this is some kind of like monitoring station. Uh, memo, 1955, Ju June 5th. Next Monday, June 13th, the triumphant launch of, collect of, of Collective 2.0 will take place. However, due to the work schedules of employees residing in the village, not everyone will be able to go to the VDNH. <clears throat> so please celebrate where you are. Here is the schedule. Da -da 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 -da. All right. For graduate students. Da -da 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 -da. Don't talk about the history of the village. Seminar on the safety. Da -da -da -da. I don't care. I got a really weird message, Polina. Remember when Ar Arkady raised a bull on polymer-based food? You know, the one named Her Her Hercules, and who was as big as a house? It was in the papers and everything. Anyway, some pictures of the bull somehow got leaked abroad and made their way to, get this, some Spanish kettle breeders. I'm serious, Spanish kettle breeders. S Spanish kettle breeders. To make a long story short, they want to sh order of, of a few of our bovine behemoths for their corrida, or whatever they call it. You know, bullfighting. Well, isn't that kind of like getting, like, steroid-juiced athletes into the Special Olympics? Kind of doesn't seem very fair. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, rules, memo, the damn thing sprang up overnight. Delete this immediately after reading, Grigori. Georgi. Some kind of gross plant just started growing in my garden. It literally sprang up overnight. It looks like, I don't know, some kind of evil eggplant or something. It makes hissing sounds. Eats my strawberries and generally acts like a little brat. You sure it's not your kid? I'm not really much of a gardener, so I'm worried. I'm really more of a cow guy. Can you see if they can send me some pesticide or something so I can spray this thing? The... This thing in its ugly broccoli looking face. I need to I need to take it out without hurting my lilies. Could this thing be some kind of poisonous seed? Poisonous weed? Like hemlock or but worse? Uh do, yeah, whatever. Just basically memos to like it's like, hey oh, we we're getting fucked over, but we don't know how. Oh, Oh. Shit, the chelas. What are they doing? What are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. Oh. The more chelas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. Seems like they are just dis Oh. Oh, so we don't even have a chance to like I think stop I'll them. Wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. Okay. Definitely good to have seen that prior. The Hawk Relay and the Wind Catcher WTG. The Hawk is the ecosystem ecosystem's regional uplink. It stays in the air powered by, by a wind generator. A Hawk can be controlled via terminal. Any hostile activity picked up on the Dandelion CCTV... CCTV cameras will will result in sending a level two alert. Level two? We have barely even gotten into a one yet. Fucking Christ! Yeah, no, we're staying far away from that thing. There are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub known as the Hawk. Right. Yep. 
So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level one alarm, and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level two alarm will be activated, and the Hawk will deploy additional forces. Hopefully that was fast enough. Nope. Still level one. How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert level indicator. Oh. I haven't played in a week, so I'm really rusty. But it seems like it doesn't fucking matter. So I'm just that fucking good. Uh, what do I have? So I have my P9 and my P3. My electro thing. Oh, it's got, it's got the uh, gold skin now. Oh, and so does the axe. Sweet. Whoa! What the fuck? Oh, I thought it just ran into me. Oh, no, you don't. Get back here, you little shit. Think you can, can run away from me? No, you can't destroy it. It just takes a couple of shots. Yeah. Though again... Oh. oh, no, it does leap forward. Okay. I was wondering what the fuck the F key was doing there. Uh, I only have fire. No. This is gonna Which be other bad. You robots are dangerous. All of them, I suppose. Other than the Terish Kovas, as they operate autonomously and are not connected to the network. So the central hub infiltrated by Petrov does not have access to the Terish Kovas. Yeah, uh, at least someone here isn't trying to kill me. Thanks <laughs> for nothing. He really is aggressive. Be but no, Ow. The enemy is on high alert. Oh my god, yeah, you're no, no kidding, because Jesus Christ. Okay, let's heal up. Not entirely sure, but I think I might be dead if I just go outside right now. Don't know why he came fly flying over here. Holy shit, where do they keep coming from? A bumblebee hey robot is delivering them oh. from a nearby factory. Oh, that's not good. Uh, can we just make it out of here without getting fucked over? Okay. Uh. Oh, that was just a matter of rotating it. Okay. There we go. Off with your head. There is loot. Loing, housekeeping. A lot of stuff right now is going right into my in into my storage. I robot, indeed. 
How you doing, Retro? How you do? Let's see. About the cows. Da -da -da -da. No. Uh, by order of facility. Da -da -da -da. Not interested. There's the hub. I'm not letting a chick. I'm not. Oh, huh? What just happened? Why well, actually just hit me? Is that a fucking mortar bot? Oh fuck. Uh, not now, not now, not now. Alright, splooge. Oh, they set that shit on fire. Rip you open and just hack you? Oh. Scrambling your brain. Feeling refreshed this morning. Me? Oh, I'm doing good. Just kind of vibing, really. Killing robots. Surviving. No, you're not getting away from me, buddy. And this is clearly just a force field to keep me inside. What I can loot in this area. We got a save station right here. Fading data. Clearly not as safe as it should be. Because this is supposed to be a safe area, so... Uh, don't no idea what that says. Oh, honey, I'm so happy. Have you come to get rid of that stupid glove? No. Some other time. In fact, I came to have it upgraded. Why upgrade that junk? Give it to me. And I'll give you the time of your life. Yeah, Shut up. I need it myself. Get on with it, you crazy bitch. Jesus. Yes, yes. Talk dirty to me. I love it when you play hard to get. Oh, it really turns me on. I've had enough of this shit. Oh, you're so eager, big boy. They I'm just keep going. Little glove and its cute sticklers. Does this please my master? That's better. Ah, oh, there we go. I was wondering, like, what does it look like? It's just a shield. Uh, do I wanna... I mean, the jet has actually been really good at, like, making some, like, impromptu, like, traps and shit. Uh... Yeah. Just anything to kind of keep me more alive right now. I wasn't done, actually. Uh, can't craft anything. What can we upgrade? You know, that doesn't look the same as the uh, skin on the outside. Not gonna lie. So we'd have to kill a bunch of these guys. Ironically, the bots that we're seeing right now that have them at all are the ones that have them very fr infrequently. Uh, let's exit out of that. Disassembly. We do not need this. Uh... Right now, that is kind of useless, not gonna lie. Don't need, need that many shotgun shells. Auto-sorting, auto-sorting. 
Kalashnikov rounds, not really all that useful right now. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to move that over because we really don't want to be using up the PM ammo for no reason. Right now, we don't actually have the use for any fire-based stuff. Uh, can we craft some, like, electrical cartridges? We can only craft the one. Okay. Thought I crafted. I did? Okay. Uh, we keep getting ammo relatively frequently, so I don't really care. Mm. I do want to I do want to find the recipe and craft the uh Zvezdochka. <laughs> Not to mention the kalash. Not the save. Saving data. Hmm. That cow is an enemy? here? No. Good. Then you can go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Cow, be quiet or else I'll have to gut you. Sparks coming off of it. Now, could I probably leave this area in like one go? Probably. I want to? Not really. I want to loot. I want to get more shit. Shouldn't be detected, right? Shock and all. Are these guys just gonna come here and just like try to repair it constantly no matter what I do? It's not gonna lie, it's kind of annoying. Fuck. Stop that. I broke it for a reason. I really do have to just get through this in one go, aren't, don't I? Fine. Ayo. How about no? You just trying to throw a fucking buzzsaw on me. Did that thing just use his buzzsaw to climb over the fence? Major, there will soon be so many enemies here that your demise is inevitable. That thing just rocket launched itself. Got distracted by Tekton, what I miss? Um the end of the Soviet Union. Basically. 
Now I'm just trying to like get through this field and like, well, primarily explore to get some more loot. But right now, just try to survive. Collective seems to have deployed a disproportionately large number of robots to this area for some reason. I reckon. Bust it open! Bust it open! The bust it open! Execute. Collective seems to have deployed a disproportionately large number of robots to this area for some reason. I re Oh. Been off work for about an hour. Nice. Collective seems to have I've been up for a couple a of hours, just like I don't really work I don't work. For some Ooh, reason. Why am I so fast? I recommend stealth. Thanks, Thanks pretty cute, but you're trying VDH. executing Section robots next I time. How you doing, Brandon? Assault carries a high probability of death. I've seen security systems like this before, Charles. I can get around it. Oh. Ow. It's five. Oh, Jesus. Wait, so you've been work. You work night shift then, I guess. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Where the fuck did you come from? Just random. Random Volva just in the fucking shitter. I have an idea. <laughs> they never expect the electro trap. Hehehe. <laughs> 8 p.m. to 4 p.m., but I only work from 10 to 3. Ow! Okay, I might be dead here. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. One dead. Whew! Okay. Security level two. Not to be fucked with. Alright. Can you, like, stop existing? Thank you. Okay. Not what I meant to do, but you know what? Okay, man, just kind of bored. Also re-addicted to Siege, so, yay. Stop preparing that annoying ball. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, my God. This is not what I thought would happen. Work international. They started at 8, but we're not in the, in the, mate, in the matrix. They don't start until 10. Yeah, I, I kind of work like more like, I guess more regulated hours. As a welder, I work between like seven to four. Though we also have a hot like an like an hour bare minimum of like like fire watch. So technically, I saw working at three, but I have to be there for an extra hour just to make sure that nothing catches on fire. Well, technically, I don't have to, but just general rule. Okay, did I just get the blueprint? Oh my god, fucking finally, I found the blueprint for the collage. Let's equip some electricity. Okay. Electro axe, let's go. Oh, careful, careful, I don't have any heal. I have no more heals. Ok, 
Okay, there we go. Okay, I have to go that way. But it's closed off. Snap A. The Snap A module module lock is used by the ecosystem to control access to important areas. Only the dandelion camera can interact with the lock. An administrator can connect to the camera through a near the nearest Volon auxiliary interface. My god. Psycho babble the game. I mean sci-fi babble, that's it. Damn it. The gate's been locked by the security system. We need to gain access. The only way to do this is by connecting oh. to the security cameras. Unfortunately, I lack that ability. There's a special camera diagnostic system, CDS2 Volan. I can use Volan, not Volan. Cameras. That system might come Damn. handy for stuff other than diagnostics. Hopefully, there's one around here somewhere. According to available data, a device with that can, can, close? can be found in this village. Detecting its <laughs> signal, use the scanner to triangulate its coordinates. Okay, we get out of there. Am I safe? I think I am. Okay, maybe we can just wait this out right now. My scheduled time, start time is uh, 10.45, but I already sit for two, have to sit for two hours, and I'm only part-time, so, so best believe I'm out of there, I'll get that overtime. Yeah. I actually recently had a bit on Discord where I, where I asked people about that, because, like, see, as a welder, right? Uh, I have I have to get there at a certain time. In in my case, it's like seven a.m. Um, so in order to make it there with the commute, I have to get up at like bare minimum five in the morning, so I can like wake up early enough so I can wake up and uh, like you like get use the commute to get to work. It takes about an hour, depending on where the location is. Then after about like. After about seven, eight hours of work, bearing in mind that one hour is like dedicated to unpaid um, uh, lunch break, um, well, not a full hour. You kind of tend to like just use half an hour for lunch and then two 15 minute breaks. Um, it, it 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 does add up in time, but as a welder, we have to like. We have to actually, like, sit there and, um, like, make sure that there's not going to be any fires as a result of, like, any, any like, flammable work that we do. As a TIG welder, it's honestly really unnecessary. Grinding and cutting and stuff like that, absolutely necessary, depending on the environment. But bi modern buildings these days, they are so, like, overly, like precautionarily made that like setting things on fire would have to be things that you basically bring there but for me I'm not leaving till four because it's my uh, it's because my sister and my, our friends will get off till 345 ish and we have to take a bus back to the parking lot because we have to go through the screening which is just going through metal detectors and yeah Right by the airport. Yeah, in, in that case, that definitely makes sense. Also, can these guys, like... Can you guys, like, actually just... Oh. Oh, fuck. I might... I'm, I'm dead here. Fuck. I got trapped in a corner. You get trapped in corners in this game so easily. Never waste your ammo on a good knife. Knife fight. True. True. Oh. Ow. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Muzzle spasm in my back. Ow. 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 Ooh. Ooh, ow. That actually hurt. I was trying to stretch. The fuck? I actually was just trying to stretch. I got an hour and ten minutes of overtime tonight, and last night I got an hour of overtime. That sounds fucking great. As long as you're getting paid for that overtime, I know for shit that I'm, I don't get paid for overtime. So the absolute fucking minute that I can leave, oh, I'm leaving. Honey, I'm so happy. Have you come to get rid my of that gonna stupid look really good. love? Some other time. Nice. In fact, I came to have it up. Okay, let's actually play this stealthily this time. It's not as fun, but this game doesn't fuck around.
I had like seven hours of overtime somehow. Hey, yo, they saw me? So, yeah, um, stealth in this game is kind of shit. That thing is like actually rocket jumping. That thing is legitimately rocket jumping. God damn it. Just trigger this and we'll get going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go trigger that. Fuck, level one. Okay. So much for trying to be stealthy about this. Yeah, I'm looking at my paycheck right now. Is it looking noise? Actually, now that I think about it, what is my paycheck gonna look like? <laughs> Math break! Math break. So say that I had five hours of work yesterday because we kind of wrapped everything up by three by by one p.m. I only had half an hour of overtime last week. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, let's clear. 200 crowns an hour times... Okay, so I started last Thursday, worked Friday, Monday through Thursday, so six days times seven. Six times seven hours. Plus another five hours. Eh, 940 bucks? Then again, what's the taxes on that? But I got five, uh, I got 513 last, for last week. Hey, for a single week, that's fucking good. How do we get root? So let's see. It's probably going to be like 20% cut off on that. If even that. Times 0. 0.8. 750 bucks for like six and a half days of work. I'll fucking take it. Bearing in mind, no overtime. I could have definitely earned a lot more. Fuck it. It's a small little bit of money. And again, that's if only I don't get any more work this month. And that's probably not going to happen either. Oh, right. This is how their elevators are. Right. Stop mortaring me! I have a $15 base pay and then straight, uh, and then straight time I get 1847. Hacking into the system would be tricky. Access denied. Please provide a valid code. 6969. Grin. Is that you? So you haven't forgotten old Granny Zena, huh? I kind of did. You. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one piece. And now I'm stuck <laughs> here with this lousy piece of shit, Valon. Here's a little tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. Then you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that Volan. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Your hut? What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? Hey, broke the mold when what? they made you, Granny. All right, I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the field on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Head that way and wait for me there. I won't be long. I want now? I don't either. I, I don't know, dude. This game is, like, oddly horny. Like, okay. I thought that my thumbnail was thirsty enough. You know, the one for YouTube. 
I thought that my titles were a bit on the nose. No. This game is straight up just fucking horny. There's literally machines in this game whose only purpose is just to fucking crank the shaft. For seemingly no reason. This game is horny. Like, it's bizarrely horny, too. Uh, I think I'm gonna move you over to, uh... Wait, no. Hmm? Oh. Okay, so that's how that works, okay. CNC mill, a single horny pot in your area. Hey! Hey, they, 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 what the fuck is this for? Oh, no. I'm, I, I don't want to, I, Set this whole thing on fucking fire! Somebody was genuinely performing Schrodinger's cat's experiment. Okay... Ayo! Can we like not? I don't have I don't have the loot for this. Let me go, you son of a bitch! Oh, you say that now. Yeah, no, I'd be dead by now. That's one way to deal with that, I guess. Oh, about time. That fucking bot almost killed me. Granny Zena? You know, I gotta admit, I love the machinery in this game. The machinery is legitimately cool. Like whoever the hell they well, got to actually I'm here now, Sonny. Thanks for the assist, Granny Zena. So, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need them. Have a cup of tea. What's actually inside of this? Oh, it's just Oh, there's missing textures inside. Wah. I thought better of you, game, by now. Okay. Up to Granny Zena. Helloing. Housekeeping. Oh, God, they have a horny fridge. Kettle's there, help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. What TV? What the hell are you? <clears throat> Regarding Shush. the reports. Your beloved Sachin I want you to watch closely. At facility 3826. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's Comrade to Molotov. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal. I am fully aware of. Are it. you? Our atomic heart project My. is in jeopardy. My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. 
How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? A lot. I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human <laughs> life over your mechanical toys, Comrade Sechenov. But that Wait, is that a crow inside of a little? That we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else, and the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working class will cast off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population. The launch of the collective neural network. Operation Atomic Heart. Hey, what title drop! are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt with. Comrade Sechenov. Some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? The fuck do you mean? They don't trust you. It's in the word. The Politburo has come to a decision. And I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get it's access to this? It's a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Uh-huh. Besides, you've got work to do. She definitely isn't deeply involved in this. Absolutely not. No, what do you mean? She's just an old granny who happens to have top secret information. In the corner. You know what to do with Volan codes, right? And take this blueprint. You can give it to my repair vendor. It won't bite. Unlike your girlfriend. Oh, it's a- what? Oh! Girlfriend? <laughs> Thanks, lady. You're a real peach. Also, did that just say Fat Boy Rocket? Oh. Ooh! Dominator! Please select the desired procedure. See, why is it the one fridge I get to see is the one that's actually not horny? I mean, I'm happy for it, but... So, what will it be, Major? I keep going out of it instead of, like, just swapping uh, menus. Alright, what do I need to craft a Kalash? What? Oh, I died! I died before I could get the recipe! Again. Fuck's sakes. Can I get down there? You're no ordinary old lady. Really? You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> no kidding. You've got a flying hut, a quantum computer hanging from the ceiling. Of course I'm mixed oh. up. I've never met anybody like you before. You've got a memory like a sieve, haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember since I got injured. But I definitely remember you. Little things, you say? Well, now you've got something really important to do, right? Pretty much. I need to get to the VDNH. Is there a train station around here? It's right past the village. Head down the road, you can't miss it. Just keep an eye on the sky. Will do. What is that That's pet anyway? That's a weird pet you got there. What's so weird about her? I make some pretty special tea, I'll give you that. But this is just a plain old chicken. What? That's a joke. This is facility 3826. It's like the Emerald City. A chipped Haven't you chicken? Ever seen a chipped chicken before? No. Can't say I have. Actually, I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, go ahead and take a look. I don't know if I want to take a look at your chipped cock. Anyway, I gotta run. Off you go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did you? Gold ones. 
in a facility 3826 box. Rings in a box? No, Granny Zena, I didn't see anything. Oh, did like I miss that. something? I was kind of busy. Well, off you go then. Enjoy the VDNH. Thanks. I really appreciate that. I really want to go back well, down there and explore now. You're meeting Stockhausen there, aren't you? How the hell did you know about that? A little bird told me. Tell the crew. What, your chip cock? If he hadn't been chasing after another man's woman. <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Grab a car in the village. It's a long walk to the station. Please okay, uh, I was gonna get something out of my storage. I don't want that. I definitely want more of you, because, oh my god, things are not going down. I'll grab the Kalash for now, grab all the meds. Oh, I'm full. Uh, don't need any PM ammo. Grab that. Okay. We gotta go find that blueprint again. Are you a robot? No. God damn, though, that texture looks fucking cool. Now, if memory serves... Let's see. Let's reload guns. They're in a two-story building, so I think it's the red one up ahead here. Oh, now we have to get back up there now. Fucking like EDM music in the 1950s. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, or not. Okay. So what the fuck's the point then? Fuck you. Reload. Ah, cool detail. Hey, Kaizuka. Yes, it is. It's the one with the synthetic mommies. Where's the blueprint again? Oh. I found a blueprint last save. I'm trying to find it again. I don't remember where I found it. Did I finish all the seat? No, we're getting back to that tomorrow. I've been working all week. So I haven't been able to like get get on with uh, with it. Oh, Z and C changes him. Okay. So that's how you swap uh, meds. You can't see it because I have I have the web camera in front of um, in front of the thing. What can I, what, what's some great anime music to put in my video? I don't know. Honestly, I wouldn't risk putting in like anime songs to be honest because of copyright issues. Access granted. So I don't actually know any songs by hand, like, right off the bat. Remix, of course. <sighs> I don't know, honestly. 
Oh, I'm not too far off. Like Lodi or some shit. Actually. Okay, no, good. Low fire. Um. I'm not really good with like lo-fi type music. I kind of only run the lo-fi girl play track on stream whenever like I just need background music really. I made way too many of these. I think I'm just gonna be uh, disassembling them. Uh, that doesn't give me what I need though. Well, it gives me some of what I need. Did I skip One Piece openings? I kind of do. I'm also the kind of person who don't really remember um, music all that well. I pretty much listen to the same track over and over again. Like, it, it takes a long time for me to even remember lyrics. So, I'm not the kind of person to be asking you about, like, music and stuff. Uh, I've heard them all. I mean, I've heard them, I just don't remember them, really. Fat wing rockets. I need to go to the bank so I can get an account, but they're only opening at 9 to 12 on Saturdays. <laughs> I mean, if it's for a bank errand, I can't imagine why she would say no to that. Like, kind of important stuff. Uh, I need metal pieces for this. Do I want to get rid of all my shotgun ammo, though? It's a good upgrade. Am I there? Almost. I need 12 more. 12 more. I don't want to- I don't want to get rid of the remaining, uh stuff. Uh, can I split this stack? Like, homie, there's only one day that we're both off and the bank is open. Come on. Yeah. I mean, how long, how long are you even going to be at the bank? Like, maybe an hour at most? Like, we're going to have to get rid of that whole stack. I don't want to do it, but... I need this. Oh, yeah. Oh, give me the Kalashnikov. Oh, yeah. Come to Papa. Oh, yeah. Granted. I don't know, but I don't think it would be very long. Just get an account and deposit my check. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we can upgrade on the collage, if anything. We only have the conventional sites. We don't have the magazine attachments. Let's install the cartridge module, because that shit is important. I don't have enough for a barrel attachment. And I'm lacking three uh, synthetic materials. All right. Oh, did we have a save station in here? Okay, you have a crafting station, but you don't have a saving station. You're bizarre, lady. You're bizarre. Uh, let's. Uh, let's swap you two around. Iron are pretty good. Yeah, I'm not going into that room, because that room is disturbing. Okay, back up to that little outlook. Nah, don't wanna, don't wanna waste ammo for nothing. 
Up we go. Please don't mortar my ass. Thank you. We're finally in the system. There we the go. Whole place this way. Ooh. Let's look for the right camera. Uh. Okay. So what was I supposed to be doing with this with these cameras again? Look over We've these. Got a camera. Are you getting any telemetry, Charles? I'm in the system. Hmm. So Oh. Oh no, that one is definitely in range. The Hawk telemetry. Ah. Is that it? Nah. Hawk Forester. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Okay, let's open the gate. Ah. There we go. That's what I was supposed to do. Okay. I get it now. Can we turn off any cameras? Possibly. There is something there. And I have no idea what that is. So... We have the Hawk Forester up in the sky. What is here? Oh, is it the bulbous thing behind? I think it is. Yeah, it makes sense because it's on, it's on the left of it. Yeah, now that I'm looking at it, I can see the shape of it now. I still have no idea what this is. Okay, down we go. The fuck? Oh god, it's coming right this way. You're not gonna do what I think you're gonna do, right? You are! that camera before anything else happens. Okay. Backpack is overloaded. Oh, fuck. That can't be good. There we go. If only temporarily gets us past some of the security features. Ow. <laughs> Stop looking at me. Ah, you poor, poor thing. Ayo? Ayo? Oh fuck, I didn't see the other camera. It was a pleasure serving with you, Major P3. Unfortunately, you are about to be killed. No, I'm not. I am not about to get killed. Okay, maybe. Where did that come from? Well, they're barely hurting me, so that's something at the very least. Damn it. Out of energy on that one. Oh, fuck. How many bullets are you gonna take from a collage? Be careful, Major. The enemy has raised the alert level. I am aware, thank you very much. How 
many cameras are on this road? Oh, fuck. Okay, wasn't enough to hurt me. Uh, nothing in the f bushes. Okay, this is open. Well, it's busted open, as a matter of fact. Anything good we can find in here, maybe? Yeah, I'm not taking any risks. You took him out good, boy. You took him out good. <laughs> this looks like a meme. Me at five in the morning stealing key cards. Me, five in the morning, stealing key cards. Nothing else, sorry. Uh, how's my inventory actually looking? My inventory is not overloaded, the fuck you mean? I have three spots open. Literally, three spots open. Please don't turn around, please don't turn around, please don't turn around, please don't look at me, please don't look at me, please don't look at me. Fuck you, iframes. Ow. Oh fuck, I was empty. Okay, take a chill pill, okay? Take a fucking chill pill. Damn, the black vulvas are not to be fucked with. They hurt so much. Good loot. <laughs> vodka. We have found the secret Russian ingredient to all. Vodka. Something's in the road. Oh, I think it's a I think it's a boshka. Can I get an ambush on this thing? Nope, because there's another one right right down the road. It saw me from there? I had no idea it was gonna do that. Or that. <sighs> Speech! Oh, you are not rocket jumping my ass. Stop rocket jumping, you're not the soldier! This is not Team Fortress fucking two. Okay. Should count my blessings though, because that was definitely an easy fight compared to what it could have been.
something down the road. There's stuff inside this little shed, though. Cashier. It's kind of awkward how the looting randomly just stops, even though I'm clearly still holding the button. Okay, I may not be able to kill that group. Okay, I got ammo for it. I just need to kill them fast enough. Oh, it's a safe station inside. I actually really need this. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. That's right. You don't fuck with me. Okay. Saved. Access granted. Let's get upgrades and see what we can get. Hold on a second. What is going on on Discord? Why did I get a message from whomst? Oh, I wasn't even looking at this part right here. I was just looking at Discord real quick. Uh, am I going to have the muscle memory to remember to do that? Probably not. Uh, let's get the shield and get that instead of the spooge. Install on the Q key. Go back up to frostbite. Install that on E. Polymeric shield. Defend against the enemy attacks and instantly counterattack. Does look a bit goopy though. Please Not the done desire. yet though. Uh, upgrade. Kalash. Uh, yeah, upgrade that. Increases accuracy, and then, then after that, we can increase decrease recoil. Magazine, we still need... We need to find Polygon 10. Yeah, more damage, less recoil. I'll take it. And save from there. Oh, did you see? You saw me. Pray to your tin god. Did this game just seriously go with a fucking action, action hero line? Oh, so that... I will say though, the Kalash really sounds good. Okay, maybe we can find some fucking loot up in this bitch. Charge. Another one, another one, another one. Booyah, bitches. You know, these vehicles are surprisingly empty of people. I don't know if I want to know what happened. Oh, ah, uh, shit.
You've been cutting that log for a while now. How about you sit down and uh, relax? Think of Namek. And allow me to... No, you are not doing anything. Ayo. You know what? I'll take it. You didn't interfere. I respect it. And with that said, die. Give me your shit. Give me your shit. Not that shit. Your good shit. There's definitely another one around here. Unless that one walked off, in which case, good. Did it see? I think it saw me. Okay! The, the electro charge is really fucking powerful. Holy crap, that thing just deletes people. Well, vulvas, not people. You know what I mean. Also, I gotta say, the game looks, the game looks like really like like, overtly bright right now. There we go, that's a lot better. Like, it looked saturated. Like, it looked like somebody had turned up the brightness too high. Because it was just so damn dark inside of the, uh... The, uh, Volivlad facility. What is that? There's something in the bushes, and I don't know what that is. Okay. There's something else inside. How about no? Ow. Don't kick a man when he's down. That's rude. Ow. Oh my god, that last swing. Let me loot everything up in there, please. Ooh. Blueprint for Kalash. Yeah, Kalash rounds. We can make more now. Sweet. I don't have to find them anymore. I can just make them. Oh, I missed a chest. Oh, thought I got that one. Mm -hmm. All 
right. Sorry, dude. Routine expe inspection. Don't mind me. I saw what you did to your internals. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. Classic. You know what? Having said that. Too easy. Too easy. Okay, so what the hell is in here? Oh. They're just lying in rest. Oh. May deal reduce damage, but not all damage. Yeah, give me your shit. Anything in here? No. I'm basically just like going after synthetics right now just to get the materials. Oh, he saw me. Damn, you do take a couple of rounds to take down, don't you? Fuck this. Yeah, you're not about to fucking blow my ass up now, are you? I didn't think you were. There we go. Nice little reload right there. Uh, I only have the one, but I need to be healed. I have to craft more after that. Now I'm completely out of meds. Well, not completely. I probably have some left in storage from, like, my looting spree from earlier. Just want to make sure that I'm not getting fucked over by, uh, random doofuses. We're definitely not getting through that. Hmm. Well, we have a crafting station right in here. Let's go make some. Save first. Your access granted. Uh, upgrades. Because we specifically need to just craft ammo. Actually, no, not ammo. Uh, meds. Huh? I thought vodka was like a crafting thing. I don't need that. I don't need that. Sort. Don't need that much. Need you, new, new, you. Condensed milk. You know what? I'm fucking curious. What can I do with that shit? You gotta be kidding me. It's an actual thing. I just select the desired procedure. I just drank condensed milk and apparently that's the fucking spinach of the Russian people. Cause I just fucking <laughs> This game is bizarre. And I don't know if I love or hate it. What the fuck does vodka do then? Cause now I'm just fucking curious. 
significantly reduces incoming damage. You know what? That makes sense. Fuck's sakes. Alright, uh, consumables... No, I can't craft that many. Uh, let's craft seven of these. Nice. Send to storage. Uh, send you back. I have no idea what that is. Uh, auto sort that, auto sort that. Let's grab three of those. Okay. <coughs> Can we find anything more to loot? Because, uh, kind of running low on resources, not gonna lie. Oh, that's a vulva. Oh, wait, is it a duck? I can't tell. It's a vulva. Uh. It didn't spot me, did it? Ain't no fucking way. It spotted me? Holy shit! Stealth is no joke in this game. Like, people want to complain about other games' is like... Like, stealth mechanics being too easy. This game is like... Oh, if you're so much as spotted for even like a glimpse of a hair... You, you are detected. These robots, they don't fuck around. Wait, why is this thing... Hello, housekeeping. Well, if the mirror is shattered, how are we seeing reflections? Oh, I thought I looted everything. Guess not. Okay, so this room is clear, bathroom's clear. We can't get through there because we probably can't open the door from that side. So up we go. I uh, can't tell what that says. No translation on that. So this was clearly a young man's bedroom. You know, I like the wooden aesthetics combined with the clearly highly technological, like, stuff. But it does also kind of clash at the same time. I don't know. I was never really a super fan of retro-futuristic stuff. It's a cool concept, but usually the aesthetics never, like, really gel with me. If that makes sense. Okay, so how the hell do we get in there, then? Because the doors can't open. Oh! We have to go with, by, via the way of the spooge.
or you know just walk around that that works too probably shouldn't be using the big ones the big heels he definitely bled out at the very least, he didn't get his entire head collapsed in by a, by a fucking plant. So that works too. Oh, they probably went around in the back door then and just like... Well, that's disturbing. Anything else? Oh, second floor. Which is how we get there. Because we go in via... Oh! I was wondering what the fuck I was I heard. I mean lots of books, but this You can definitely be on the rooftop, so that's a thing. Uh lab techs. Oh. oh, a survivor. I didn't think I would see someone. Listen, you should get out of here. I'd love to, but who's going to clean this mess up if I do? Nah, I've still got work to do here. Yeah, this is exactly what we were thinking waiting for the train. Very well. <laughs> I hope you'll have better luck. <laughs> well, he didn't have much of much, you know, useful information, did he? But wait, if he barricaded himself in here this e this well, how the fuck did he die? Did he starve to death? Uh, I missed something. But it's not in here. Ah, oh, a survivor. I didn't think I would see someone. Listen, I'd love to. Who's my so that really is everything it has to say, huh? Alright. I didn't expect this. Okay, so how do I get into the room with that in it? There's a busted window here. Oh, I see it, I see it. Or not. D okay. Huh. I thought these little things would be something you could, like, climb on. Because I want to get into this room. But I don't know how. Because there's no way to get through here. Started lurking to set up my, uh, my newest, uh, reshade pack mods. I'm- I love the game. Like, the game has been, like, a massive surprise. I thought this was gonna be, like, a mid-game at best. A downright terrible game at worst. This has actually been a really enjoyable game. There are some flaws with it. Definitely. Um. Like, the dialogue is way too, like, weirdly paced. Oh, okay, so I was supposed to dash in. Okay, I got it. Um, oh, I expected a very generic Far Cry-like experience. With a, with a sprinkling of Bioshock. But no, like... I, I think I was expecting more of... Okay, how the fuck do we get in there, then? 
Because, like, we can't get in through that window. Unless we're just supposed to go around like this. No, because that just leads me to the spooge. And the spooge is not the problem here. We have found, like, three different ways to get into the spooge. So how the fuck do we get into this room? Because the elevator doesn't work. This room is already, like, looted. This window leads just to the outside. And that's the... I have legitimately no idea how I'm supposed to get into that room. But yeah, outside of the dialogue being very, very weirdly paced in English, bearing in mind this is probably supposed to be like, watched in, um, I mean, listened to in Russian, most likely, considering, you know, <laughs> the game is made in Russia by Russians, so that does make sense. The game gives you dying light vibes more than anything. A, a tad? I, I think it's... I think that's more or less the um, the graphical fidelity of the game, more so than the aesthetics. Because this game is by no means a parkouring game. Like the overall vibe. I say it's more like Bioshock because you basically start out with a very like clean and um, nice looking environment that extremely quickly turns into a dystopian nightmare. The things around that around people that have basically been like their products have now turned against them. The reason why I'm caught why I'm like referring to that as like a Bioshock vibe is the little sisters and the big and the big and the uh, like big dads and subsequently the big sisters were all products of the environment. Like they weren't just made as monsters, they were like made to be like a product. And they turned against people. The plasmids were supposed to be just like a quality of life improvement. Ended up being the biggest mistake that, uh... That they ever made. Because without Adam, they can't survive anymore. Now, I don't know if that holds up with polymers, though. Though, swimming through the polymer stuff, especially after figuring out what polymers actually are? Uh, kinda creepy. Really, really fucking creepy. There we go. Because we got that chest, we got that person. We did miss something in here. That one. I do fucking love the looting though. I mean, it was it was an improvement. Adam may as well be the new food source, really. Yeah. Much like a lot of other untested things. Okay. I'm going crazy. How the fuck do you get in there? Because the elevator's out. There's nothing in here. Nothing in the toilet. Hmm. How the fuck do you get into this fucking room? Oh yeah, like, it, it's a great, like, storytelling device of, of saying, like, be careful of, like, of, like, keeping your ideas, like, maintaining your ideas, because every good intent can be turned on its head. That's essentially what, what Andrew Ryan's dream became. It went from no interference by anyone... And only relying on, you know, your own wit to, like, make yourself successful. And people exploited that. Okay, I'm... I have no idea how to get into that room. I legitimately have no idea. I've been trying now for the past, like, fucking 15 minutes. I am legitimately confused. So fuck it. I can't get in that room. You're not gonna see what's in that room, then. Elephant! Ah, we found the station. And the train is right there. 
All we have to do now is take a seat and we're off. I sincerely hope we don't encounter any obstacles along the way. Don't jinx it, Glove. Otherwise, we'll find a goddamn canister lock on the door. Oh, we're gonna find a canister lock on the damn door. We're absolutely gonna find a canister lock. 50 minutes to collect an absurd amount of material you don't really need. I mean, the thing is, it could have been a blueprint. That's the thing. It could have been a blueprint. I will say, though, this game is definitely unique in the one aspect where practically everything in this game, everything from, like, like the fucking vending machines being oddly super down bad to the machinery design itself being extremely fucking phallic. Like, there's literally, like, machines down in the original, um, um, underground facility that we went into that literally had machines that were just designed to just masturbate metal sha shafts. Just didn't seem to do anything. Like, it wasn't for any, like, power generation reason. It was just... There. Jacking off a massive hunk of metal the size of a human torso. Like, this game is seriously horny. And, like, you think that I'm exaggerating. No. This game is stupidly horny. It was made in Russia, one of the horniest pl uh, pl countries on the planet. Is it? That's not the vibe I get when I see Russians. Oh. Five. Five. Zero six. Oh. Zero seven. Got it. Wait, five five zero six. What was it? I have terrible memory. Five. Five. Zero six. Zero seven. Got it. Fifty five oh oh six oh seven. Fifty five oh six oh seven. There are bodies everywhere. They never saw the bots coming. No one expected civilian robots to display this kind of aggression. No shit. I wouldn't have seen it coming either. Robots pulled our country back from the Thank edge you. of a cliff after the Brown Plague. A decade later, people believe civilian robots are dependable and helpful. It's a terrible shame. True. So, another unique feature of this game is the thought devices. I thought at first they were supposed to be, like, the main antagonist in this game. Basically, like, oh, you get this thing and you get really smart, but the system's hooked into your brain now, so you're compliant. But instead, it turned a little bit more morbid than that. So, the thought devices can record your final last thoughts... And basically keep a phantom copy of your consciousness for, for a duration of time. The people that have those devices on them that, are, that we can talk to, they're dead. It is literally just a phantom ghost of them left in that little device right there. Some may only last a few day, a few, few minutes. Some can last for several days. And they are very much conscious of, of what they are and what happened to them. It's uh, kind of a disturbing thought. Also, like, they did not have to go this hard on the model detail. Like, look at this. Like, I raved about this last time, but it really goes to show. They did not need to go this ham on the model detail. I figured out the vibe it gives me. You know what? That's true. That's that's oh, that's good. Because we we happy few is very much also a uh, alternate like like a historic uh, reimagining. Cuz this is like reimagined um Soviet Union. Because they never fell apart. The Soviet Union is still very much active. Hey, Ethan. Uh, here for a bit while I take a break from housework. When housework is done, I'll be taking out the cards from the garage, trying to diagnose white support. Lights poorly. Oh, how did you get that fixed? Yeah. How's your weekend treating you so far, Ethan? 
if I had a mod on standby, I would ask them to shout you out. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> okay, no. Can't pop the bubble, uh, the ball, the balls. I slept on till like 11 a.m. and I have to work tomorrow. I kind of forced myself to get up at 7 a.m. this morning just so I wouldn't have my sleep schedule flocked in case I go back to work on Monday. Because I'm going to have a couple of, about a week or two. Huh? Wait. Who this? Hello? Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 transportation system. Uh, fine, whatever, I'm out fine. of here. whatever. I'm out of here. Uh, the only, the, there's one, there's only one other game that has this level of detail that I know of, and that's Dead Island 2. Um, you know, funny thing for me is... For me, it's actually Wolverine, the um, the movie tie-in game that was like on the Xbox 360. That game, until that point, probably didn't have nearly as good of a uh, damage model on anything. Because like, you can chop people up in this game. It's not like a cowardly game. To be fair, it's a garbage game. But it's still better than the fucking movie. <laughs> Hell, I played it a few years ago, but I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't keep going because it was like barely running at 30 FPS. Car is stalling when I come to, to a stomp slash when it revs up. When the when revs stop, but it's an auto, so that sh definitely shouldn't be happening. Going to plug it into a diagnostic scanner this, this afternoon slash evening and that does not... Yeah. Depends on which version you got for it. Eh, 360. The Xbox 360 just was not that powerful, and I think, I think that game came out. Um, oh, if it if it's a if it's a version like a version problem of like from region to region, we absolutely definitely got the censored one. Because this was definitely around the time when like Sweden started getting like really like obscenely censor happy about stuff. Especially for video games, something that the mass majority still sees as just like, like a kid's hobby more than anything. Even though full-on fucking careers have been made out of it. Like, it's a decent game, and I have finished it since like a long time ago. It just runs so poorly on, on the Xbox that we have, that I may have to <clears throat> get it a certain other way, if you catch my meaning. Because it's funny, it's literally the only um, movie tie-in game that I know of that's even remotely that good. And three, the 360 was fairly... Oh yeah, no, it was definitely powerful on release. Hell, it lasted for fucking 13 years. Although that was probably mostly because of like bureau bureaucratic nonsense and like trying to save money. Uh, it just had a very, very long lifespan with, with the lots of re-releases rather than the new gen console. Movie tie-in that's good. Italian job on the PS. I don't know that game. I never had a play. I never had a PlayStation like properly until the PS5. If I recall, there was a specific part of the game that that made it really bad. Uh, I do have. I do have one of the original three, uh, 360 blacks. Uh, I would show it, but I don't want to mess anything up right now. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of facility... Yeah, 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 yeah. It will be my pleasure, oh. comrade. The current load of the train line is 0%. You may depart immediately. Why does the bartender look like a baby? I mean, that's probably one of the more lamer designs in this game, because, uh... There are some robots in here that are, like, kind of awesome looking. Like, the robots 
that are supposed to be like nice looking and like aesthetically pleasing subjectively look very clean have very polished armors and all that like they have very human express like very human faces for the fifth for the 1950s that is meanwhile more industrial machines in this game like actual like robots have like cast iron stuff on them like you can see on the texture that like the aesthetics was not the point durability was it's like this game nails aesthetics uh, I'm sure you. Are you sure you haven't lost your marbles like the other robots? You're not gonna crash the kill. Are you sure you haven't lost your marbles like those other robots? You're not gonna crash the train and kill us, are you? Passenger safety is the foremost concern of any robotic vehicle. Our algorithms. I've seen what your algorithms can do, Charles. Is there a neuropolymer capsule with a train manual on it in this station? You can drive the vortex yourself if we find one. Unfortunately, this station isn't a transit hub. There won't be a manual capsule here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh... I need to get to the VDNH right away. It will be my pleasure, comrade. Oh. You may depart immediately. Then go, fucking Great, Christ. Go. Assuming you have purchased What's the worst thing that can happen? A ticket? A fucking ticket? Are you stupid? <laughs> there are corpses everywhere. There's an emergency <laughs> the fucking... in effect over the entire facility. Start the train right now. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. I, do I have not a fucked up foot. Any signs of pregnancy. Show me a note from the gynecologist. <laughs> I'll show you signs of pregnancy, you piece of shit. If you have a I mental mean... disability, please present your disability <gasps> certificate. That's it. You're fucked. Comrade Major. Note that this particular Rafik is not an autonomous system. He is the high-speed train vortex. Wait, why is the bartender the driver? All right. Listen here, you lousy hunk of junk. Where do I get your fucking ticket? You may purchase it at the nearest ticket window. There are special discounts available for passengers traveling with children. Uh, what? Ticket window, you dumb shit. They're closed. Everyone's yeah, dead. basically. Nobody's yeah. selling tickets. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. Cram it, you prick! I'll end up hoofing it all the way to the VDNH at this rate. That you can do, sir. I don't give a fuck. A unique train. What makes it so special? Does like, I, I don't actually care. I don't actually care. Okay, so maybe uh, that's what the numbers what are for. What am I for? supposed to do now? Search every single body here. I suggest talking to the polymerized victim. We already Shit. did. Do I have to? Okay. Uh. So somebody was talking about like a number, and I think that's more of a passcode more than anything. So that was fifty-five oh six oh seven. Oh, son of a... Thank you, Ethan. I just... You can see the hinges! My god, they did not have to try that hard. Take his head off! Will do! Because that happens. And in case anybody's about to ask, no, there's no block button. Trust me, I'm just as annoyed. <laughs> Ow, fuck. Fuck this. Fuck you. Where's the head to go? I think I just blew I up the head. I just can't. 
I can't leave this place, literally. You don't have a spare ticket, do you, comrade? A ticket? Yes, I do have a ticket, but it's useless. How come? Because this station is jinxed. Can't you see? <laughs> I'd use a different word, but I don't want to upset you. There's no other practical explanation. It's a jinx. I'm telling you. First, what I do you mean? Then I forgot my papers. Oh. Then I forgot the departure time, and then I almost missed the train. And when I got here one minute before departure, everything froze before my eyes. This station is kind of is. Why yeah. Why don't I help you get rid of your jinx ticket and your backward superstitions, comrade? Take it, take it, and break the jinx. Thanks. Not sure about the jinx though. Why did I yoink it from his kneecap? I mean, it is also an FPS, so you're supposed to be using guns, but I'm just trying to save on ammo right now, because this is the highest difficulty, and yeah, if you get hit, you kind of take massive damage. Okay, so what the fuck was that number for, then? 550607. 550607. What is that number for, then? I mean, the thing is, though, Ethan... I'm, I'm about to give you a chance to figure out why I'm specifically running around with the axe. Because I had to go through some mental gymnastics to figure out why the axe is what it is. Because I thought it was something else. No, quite the opposite. It's the Swede. This game literally is called The Swede. I thought that I had signed up on something on some website because I got the full edition of this game. Like the full premium one because I got it on a sale. And I thought I'd entered in, you know, naming your weapon. You know, type of thing. Because, you know, single player game, who gives a shit if it's named after you? So I was like, did I do something? No, this axe is literally named the Swede in the game. And there's actual lore behind it. Olav Solveig was a Swedish lumberjack turned fisherman who moved to the USSR and became a well-known lifesaver. He was he was part of a team of the team who, that extinguished the legendary gas fire of Urta Bolak, where jets of flame soared 300 meters in the air. And he had nothing to do with this. What he has nothing to do with this weapon. It's possible that the Damage Neural Network named this monster the Swede after Olaf, but you will don't want you don't want, but you won't want to be trying to save people when you have when you've got this weapon in your hands. On the contrary, this fire axe was created was clearly created for one purpose only: extinguishing people. Can it cut bratwurst though? Oh, probably. It's just, it's just so funny because like. I did not expect that to happen. I did not expect that to be a thing in this game. So it caught me completely by surprise. So I as a point of as a point of like, you know, honor and shit, you know, I, I can't just give it up. Rescue. Failure. Excuse me, comrade, but do you have a train ticket? Must go. Grab it. Emergency. What? Failed everyone. People dying. Elimination was correct. Son. <laughs> asshole. Is it like Resident Evil Holy levels of ammo I'm shortage? My fucking time here. Robots. Kind of yes and no. Not glad to be of service. Not glad. I'll keep that in mind. I gotta go. Okay, so it gave me a number, but I don't know what it's for. Okay. So 
you, depending on what ammo type it is, it does stack up to a maximum. Do you, do you want a mild hint about the number? The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Uh, this is going to be a yes, and, yes or no question. Is it something I need to go back for, or is it for something in the future? Is it for now, or is it for later? So, it's something I need to go back for, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. My apologies. So, I need to go back. Figure out what I could have missed. Though now that I'm on it. Which building was that you just left? This is some kind of hotel. There is a room in here that we just cannot fucking open. I've tried everything. Well, it's a motel, but... Like, the, there's only one thing left to loot in there. And it's in a room that I can't access. Nice, condensed milk. It's like, this room, I want to be able to get into, but I can't. And there's no, like, busted rooftop. There's no, like, open window. I just can't get into that room. But it has loot in it, and it drives me insane. Fifty-five, oh six, oh seven. It's six numbers. Wait. That's just the seventh. That's just the seventh of Gen of June, nineteen fifty-five. Why would it just be spewing up? That's just a number. Wait, is it just lore? It's just lore, isn't it? 1955, 7th of June. It's not lore, so it's actually some kind of, like, code. Um, you know what? Go for it. Because I'm probably not going to go and look for much longer. It's in the future. Okay. Wait, is it actually pointless? Is that one of the pointless things? Oh, no, come on, it's cut content? Oh my god. That's really fucking irritating. So it's com so it's just a massive red herring. Fuck sakes. Up with your head. There we go, buddy. There you go, Ethan. It took a while, but there you go. I I took off his head. Just the level of detail is just insane. Basically, this Reddit comment sums it up. It might be cut content. About five minutes later, you'll you'll have to find the train ticket and the corpse get this marker. But their li dialogue changes, so I'm not really sure. 
There's a bit there's a bit during the intro where you overhear someone talking about a pass a password I wrote it down thinking it might pop up later, but nothing. Yeah, it's probably cut content then. They probably just forgot to turn off that um that dialogue then. Greetings, comrade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's your ticket. Now start the engine. Your ticket has expired. Your train departed four hours ago. Please exchange the expired ticket at the ticket window. Are you shitting me? Expired? Everyone here was already dead four hours ago. <laughs> oh, the ticket expired? So is everyone time? else. Start the engine before I kick your metal ass. Riding with an expired ticket is unworthy of a Soviet citizen. Please exchange the expired ticket at the ticket window. Choke on it and die, you fat turd. Oh my god. Oh, this is like this is like dealing with airport people. Fucking You know what? Fuck you! I didn't get jump scared. I didn't. There are no tickets. The window is closed. I need a train ticket. A ticket? What the hell are you talking about? There are crazy robots all over the place. The fact oh, that they're... Killing me. Is that rigor mortis, by the way? Heal with your hand type on. Sorry, comrade. No one can help you now. Sorry, sir, you need... Oh... God damn it. Uh, so basically, the people that are dead talking, that's actually the device on their forehead. Or rather, on their temple. That one. It's a thought device. Basically, it's supposed to be your interactive... Uh, it's supposed to be an interfacing device that allows you to, like, take in this substance called polymers. Polymers basically allow the transformation of knowledge. Yeah, it's a neural it's a neural implant interface, yeah. However, what it also does is record your brain in the moments of your death. So while the body is dead, you're basically put into a ghost consciousness for anywhere between a few minutes to several days. So it's kind of morbid. And I think because of the recency, um, I guess they kind of just spaz out sometimes. So your family can have fond memories of you, <laughs> of hearing you scream as you slide. I think that part is actually just more or less a bug in the system because, uh, because it's definitely not supposed to do that. As far as I know. It's in the fucking room, isn't it? It's in the fucking room, isn't it? It's in the fucking room! Fifteen minutes I spent on that! Fifteen minutes! <laughs> oh wait, no, it's not even that room, it's actually the other one. It's not even that room! It's not even that room! It's the other room that I've already been in! Oh yeah, and by the way, polymers polymers can also be technically made out of dead out of dead uh, organic material. Can I have your train ticket, comrade? 
It's an emergency. Are you alive? Then run. You can make it. Leave the area. I can't. I'm the guy who's going to clean up this mess. This is exactly what we thought when we sounded the alarm. And now we're hiding out instead of fixing the robots. I'm guessing your ticket's expired then, huh? I have a monthly pass. Has it been a month yet? How long have I been lying here? Ah, it hasn't been a month. Mind if I borrow your Isn't pass, it the same comrade? room? No. You don't need it anymore. And that fucking Rafik on the train is busting my balls. You saw a Rafik? Do not approach it under any circumstances. Rafiks kill you if you try talking to them. They eat? This one doesn't seem to. They sure do. Talking to that metal moron is making me want to kill myself. The uh, in game, so in game, in game. <laughs> have you got a pass or not? I have. Take He's not a true Rafik, no. Pocket. I can't reach it. I'll get it. Thanks, comrade. <laughs> what if he... <laughs> what if Nichev just goes and says, uh, Can you reach it for me? I don't want to touch you. It's like, well, no, I can't reach it. I'm dead. Yeah, see, you're kind of, like, dead, and that's my problem. Okay, so, this room... Oh, right, because there's a Rafik behind this that got crushed. That's why I said that. Um... So yeah, this is the room at the furthest end of the hotel. And the thing I want to loot is in there. However, the window can't be busted. There are no other things here that can allow me to open it. No key, no nothing. Sorry. I thought that window was going to lead me up there, but it just leads me back into the open area I can already access. And the door can't be open because I go in through the main entrance. I've already looted down there in the reception. So here's the room with the busted open window. Here's the here's the room with the with the Rafik hater, because there's a Rafik that tried to bust in. And here's the door that I can't fucking open. Literally impossible. I don't and like there's actual fucking loot in there. And it drives me fucking insane. Actually drives me fucking insane. You know, just because. Fuck you. I'm gonna go craft myself some ammo because I wasted quite a lot. No clue confirms, no way to access it. Really? There's actually a website Please to be like, you procedure. can't access it. Oh my god. Like, okay, I like this game, don't get me wrong, but fucking Christ. Ah, uh, since someone no-clipped on Reddit, okay. I thought it was like a, like a community of people that just went around and tried to like, figure out what areas can or cannot be accessed. Um, I have no idea what that thing is. Fuck it, I'll take a vodka, why not? Some more cut content. The thing is as well, right? Ever since having worked, it's not a bug, it's a feature. Loot hoarders be fucking fuming right now. Hello, it's me, loot hoarder. Fucking Christ. So annoying. And the thing is, right, I understand that shit now. I understand why sometimes you have to... Why would you bother... Uh, why would you not bother to finish a single room before release? The thing is, though, it might legitimately be something that just, like... It was intended to be there, to be, like, accessed. But due to budget constraints, they couldn't really justify spending the hour or two it would take to, like, program that room properly. Or maybe they had an idea for it to maybe, like, have that passcode be in there and you face off against a d dangerous enemy, but it just, it took, it would have taken too long to make. There's a lot of things within game development that I just don't understand quite yet. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex. The United Is this okay Is now? Is this ticket okay? Will you let me ride now? You bloodsucker. I mean... Why didn't you notify me you had a travel document, comrade? 
It could speed up the departure of the train. Maybe because I didn't have it back then. Are you saying this isn't your ticket? Riding with someone else's ticket is unworthy of a Soviet citizen. What did you just say? Please do not worry. Having analyzed the situation, I came to the conclusion that you are a law enforcement officer investigating an emergency. It is obvious that you are allowed to travel free of charge under the current circumstances. <laughs> are, you are you fucking serious? The train is departing in 10 seconds. Oh my god! You just witnessed a real miracle of science. You're telling me they spent hours coding this whole sequence, but they left the fucking door closed. They left a door closed with a with Lou inside, but they had the effort and time to program this in. Are you fucking insane? Are you fucking insane? Kidding me? <laughs> Fuck me. You cannot be serious. This to me is hilarious. Cause like this is the epitome of somebody who says, nah, I don't want to deal with the small stuff. Let me just make this nuclear reactor from scrap, but uh, I'll deal with the, I'll deal with the LED stuff later. It's like... Um, Greetings, comrade. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that shit is fucking hilarious. Charles? Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? We've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom oh of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Comrade Major, but what do you need to get to the bottom of? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed. That is unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Skrashinov. She's a woman Such in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? Oh, God. It's the thing that we found downstairs in the uh, plant. We did all this just to get ambushed by a roly-poly. Oh fuck. Oh shit. We are beyond lucky that didn't snap into our face. Hey yo. That's Stockhausen? What the fuck is he here? Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did Sashinov say? Oh, okay, okay. Easy it's like, now. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. To the, uh, okay. Uh, Comrade Sashinov wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? He's probably gonna die, yeah. What the hell for? Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, okay. Anything else? Uh, Comrade Sashinov asked me to give you this. It's his latest. Uh, oh. This will come You're here. a soldier, Agent B3. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me. Huh? Huh? Wait, where are you going? What is with the dialogue right now? The slippery little bitch. Oh, what? Why the fuck do you have a- Why in the fuck is this turning into an anime fight? Gun beats melee Pretty fight. Here. Just like Moscow. Oh. Better actually. Testing round. Oh. And on a larger scale. My design. Your what? A linguistic error. 
I meant to say that it embodies my favorite design. No, I that that was way too much on the nose. They put so much effort on. on th okay, so the dialogue I feel like is a problem only because we're on the English dialogue because this game is be is designed and made by Russian developers. Hence why there was such a massive controversy about this game, especially with Russia invading Ukraine right about now. Um, so I feel like the dialogue and the cutscenes are based around the Russian dialogue. Even though the mouth, the lip syncing and the mouth movements are... Hey, the red. At least it's not as bad as Stalker's dialogue. I mean, I think Stalker kind of gets, like, a pass because it's, like, it was more or less an afterthought. I mean, who published it? Actually, who did publish it? I know Moonfish made it. I don't know who published it. Well, yeah. Welcome to the stream, Red. Uh, where would the discussions... <laughs> I'm doing good. We're just having fun, riffing a bit on Atomic Heart. Atomic Heart. Let's take a look who made it. Uh, Focus Entertainment for Divinity. Or Focus Entertainment for Divinity. As in four. Not F O not F O R, but the number. The play tales. Uh, inside facility 30, uh, 3826, there are many secret testing grounds where you can find a variety. Oh, okay, so basically all the polygons and aliens fire team. That's, that's really weird because I've heard that Plague Tales is a really damn good game. And having played it myself, aliens fire team is just kind of jank. Uh, entrances to testing grounds are marked in black on a map with blue, with question mark. In addition, the Nora repair vendor can tell you the appro approximate location of the testing ground with the blueprints you need. I mean, the publishers and developer. Yeah. I know that. But I think Moon. this is Moonfish's first game, so... I mean, granted, considering that they probably were very much under a lot of stress, considering, like... Because as far as I know, they got, like, massive flack for just being a Russian company. And that was pretty much it. Just because of the things that are happening right now in Ukraine. Um, so, like, for their first game, from what I can able... What I'm able to tell, it's a fantastic outing. Like, it is a... This has been a fantastic game so far. But, that's not to ignore any of its problems, which clearly are that dialogue cutscenes and the dialogue parts themselves are clearly out of, like, out of pace. There's a, there are a lot of moments where, um, Agent P3, the character we're playing, or Nechev, um, will speak his, his piece, and then the next person is, is speaking before... Before Nechev is even done. And it's not like he's getting interrupted. Nechev still keeps speaking, even though the new person is still is just about to talk. So it's clearly a matter of like the dialogue being very much out of sync and out of uh, pace. This is definitely a case of the voice direction had not seen the, the scenes that um because they re-recorded the dialogue in English, but didn't bother QA it. Yeah, pretty much. There was essentially no second take. Now, bearing this in mind, I feel like the voice acting isn't bad. Not to mention the out-of-game drama, crunch, issues with sudden people getting harassed, etc. I never know what's true anymore. No one knows what's true anymore. If anybody, anywhere can just call fake news to everything. And just, like, call everything false. So finding out what's actually true and false now these nowadays is like next to impossible really. Which sucks because it means that that like reliable information is next to impossible to figure out. Oh, 
second. Let's see. Because, like, you can definitely tell that this game has a lot of passion to it. The sound design is, like, chunky. Like, it's not ex inspiring me to want to play it. That's fair enough. I will say, though, if you do choose to give it a go, I think you'll actually enjoy it. Because the gunplay is actually pretty damn good. The iron sights are really damn clean. The melee system is better than what it looks to be. Yeah, there are no block buttons in this game, which kind of sucks. But considering how fast these androids are moving... You wouldn't be able to block it anyway, like, logically. Like, they are, like, pouncing at the speed of sound. Dodging is, like, the only way you can survive, realistically. Though, I will say, by far, and I'm, exp I'm enjoying the lore and watching it, but I don't care enough to play it. Fair. I will say, though, the game runs like a, like a fucking dream. I'm running this, and streaming, and recording at, like, nearly maxed out quality settings. And I'm getting, like, 140... Like, 140 FPS on average. With a lows of, like, 90s. Like, the 1% lows, I'd say. The cut content increases FPS. Yeah, exactly. I mean, hell. Sometimes, on, some sections of a game... Some, some sections of a video game can actually just bug out the entire game. Like, look at Apex. The entirety of Olympus in Season 16 bugged out so hard after a collection event that they had to remove it because of skins. Sometimes some shit just randomly doesn't make any sense why it's just making the game just break. This is definitely a game I would rather watch than rather than play. Playing Apex after Season 10 is gross, to be honest. Yeah, but again. that's beside the watch point. Out. There are robots Access beneath. granted. I just really like this because it is finally tapping into that genre of FPS titles that I really like. FPS with skills. And you might say, oh, just play a hero shooter like Overwatch or, well, Apex, I guess. But honestly, just having this, like, type of power system that's clearly inspired by Bioshock and or System Shock, it's just so fucking fun. Like, it's, it's having that flexibility in combat. I have no idea what we're even on about. Back to battle, I go. Fair enough. If I want to get third party as hard as, as Apex, I'd solo queue God as a woman. Oddly enough, this game is making me want to turn on PS5 and get play some more Division 2. I thought this game was, like, not that good. I heard. I mean, I've also stopped playing... Apex for a while now. I play it very, very infrequently. Access Though I do granted. definitely actually want to get back. I actually do want to get into Valorant more, but I want people to play with. Hint, 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 nudge, nudge. <laughs> I enjoyed Division 2, but the actual content was lacking. From what I understand, that's definitely true. Uh, gunplay was fun, though. I don't think you can really fuck up third-person gunplay, though. You'd have to really, really try to fuck up third-person gunplay. I feel like. Uh, muzzle corrected. That increases damage. Yes. One thing that I do enjoy about this game... Um, is that when you upgrade a weapon and gives it modules, it changes the look of it. So you can tell from a glance. Like, that, what upgrade you have. If you know the game well enough. Apart from boss HP, a dude in a hard hat surviving multiple grenades. Yeah. Okay. I will definitely give the game this, though. It is definitely a game that, like, if you're not pitch perfect with your stealth mechanics... You are going to get detected really fucking easily. The robots in this game have practically x-ray vision. Almost to the point where doing stealth is just pointless. 
God. Are you ever gonna give it a rest? Coward? Stealth is for cowards. Sometimes it is necessary, even in this game. I think it's all me. Yep. Freeze. <clears throat> bada beam, bada boom. Just gonna use you to get past. What else is new? Charles, open it. Unfortunately, I you lack can't. the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that? By the way, Charles is the glove. Charles is actually the glove, in case anybody's wondering. It's kind of a unique device that allows me to, like, well, loot things on the go and, uh... And you and it's basically the the main way I utilize the abilities that I have. Uh, wait, did I get detected? No shot, right? Oh, I didn't even see that. Where are the sex bots? Uh, we saw them briefly at the start of the game, but I have no idea where they are now. Of a lot, sweet. Get up there quickly. I can't believe that we started okay, this game all the way up here. there. On that massive ass fucking floating island. Are you planning to disable the Hawk? It isn't responsible for opening the VBNH's doors, you know. Uh, well, I gotta do something, okay? I'll start with the Hawk. Hmm. Oh, I can't even access the can- wait. I'm in range of that. What's the hawk? Uh, the hawk is, um, this floating thing in the sky. That we're here, Major, basically acts as, like, a hub. The terminal door. It could prove Shut the fuck Got up, it. Charles. I, I can't really see it from Whoa. here. Check out those huge mirrors. What are they for? Let's These see. groups of mirrors illuminate the VBNH with natural light and act as solar panels. That is the hawk. To the complex. Impressive. A temple of science. This would have been a hell of an event if not for Petrov. So yeah, Petrov, uh, Petrov Vadilov oh, yeah. is like... There's a hawk in the sky. Oh my god, sh stop. Fuck, they will not shut up sometimes. Uh, but yeah, Vadilov, um... Is the guy who's basically responsible for, like, all of this happening in the first place. He seems to have gone kind of schizophrenic and just gone completely crazy. Um, because he's apparently paranoid. He, uh, has literally not been taking his, like, like, medicine. So he started going crazy and reprogrammed all the robots in the entirety of, uh, of Facility 3826. To just go fucking crazy. His state-regulated medicine. Yeah, you probably you're, you're probably onto something there. Not gonna lie. Uh, oh god, there's a black one right there. Um. Uh, oh, I opened the door. Sweet. Uh, anything else? Though, overall, in general, I just really like the aesthetics of this game. I'm usually not a, a person who enjoys, like, the re retro-futuristic style. But I, I feel like they really outdid themselves with this aesthetic. Let's 
very Fallout Institute, yeah. Clearly they are inspired by many other, like, things. Oh. I thought it was way deeper than that. It's the Hawk's service button. What does it do? It will cause the Hawk to land, so it can be serviced by a technician. Ah. will it stay there for? If it fails to make contact with a technician, not long. What's the point? Then we need to move. I got no idea. Also, I think I'm dead here. can get a better view of the place. Maybe I'll see something. Fuck off! Overcoming vertical obstacles. Tap space and W near a pet pipe. Okay. What should I do? Hang on to this handle or something? Hold on tight. Hawks are not designed to be He really dick. Yeah, he really fucking did. Fuck you! Okay. Oh. Oh, to allow me to get inside. The cable stabilized the hawk during bad weather. Huh. Maybe I can slide down a cable. Oh, God. Oh my hand! Oh my hand is hurting from just seeing that. Fact. From a bird's eye view, you can see that the grass in the park was planted in the shape of the peaceful atom. A bird's eye view? Well, okay. How would we see that from the ground, though? So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or abilities? Wait, why is this one not horny? I don't think I'd ever. Like, I never thought I'd have to ask that. Also, I have no idea what that means either, Ethan. I have no idea what that means. So, like, a peaceful atom? Like, what does that mean? Uh, I can't get the shield upgrade. So, what will it be? Uh, kind of want more meds, not gonna lie. I'm gonna hop out and play some PS5 games during the stream. Yeah, take it easy, Brandon. Have a good one. I need more Kalash rounds. Mm. So why do I have a feeling that this is definitely, absolutely gonna lead me into a boss fight. It is absolutely going to lead me into a boss fight. It's a boss fight. It's that thing again. Be careful. Hawk 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable. That doesn't look adorable. That looks like ballistic. A hedgy? Oh. Oh. I get it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't get away. Come on, you wanna crash into Bro. Come on. Wait, am I? No, I'm not crashing. Why is it not crashing into- Okay, this is actually just getting annoying. Why am I walking so damn slow? supposed to crash into these things.
There we go. Haha! <laughs> Get fucked. That isn't working. I literally can't get away from that! I... I actually have no idea what I'm supposed to do in that situation. When he starts just... Sucking me in. I don't know. I only have two dashes. What, did my dude steal Chamber's glove? Maybe Chamber gave it to him in a drunken fist fight. I don't know. Okay, uh... That's what they are? Okay. So, what will it be, Major? Um... Weapon? I'm gonna need all the fucking meds I can get. Uh... I don't think I'm going to be using the melee weapon anytime soon. Let's bring out the P... the PM. Huh? Oh! Oh, it's on one now, okay. Okay, let's see. Heal up first. V, start this up. He arrives. Shit, would you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hog 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable. I'm right into it, please. There we go. Decent damage. Huh? Oh. I literally can't get away! Okay. You spin in place. Away from me! No, goddammit, get back up here! Get fucked. Where are you? Oh, there you are. God damn it. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Stop doing the roly polies. It's annoying. There we go. No, 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 no suck. This thing is moving so erratically. No, not again. I didn't press X that time. I don't know why I thought it's sucking. Hey, oh. Bro, you're literally in it. 
There you go. There we go. All right, two att one attempt. Was that a civilian robot? For real, that thing, a civilian robot. You tell me, Major. You have far more experience with combat robots than I do. Oh. I, I do? I mean, shit, I do, but I can't remember a damn thing. They seem different somehow. And we got the loot from that. Neuromodules, synthetic materials, nice. Let's go save before I have to do that fight again, because that was annoying. The only pro problem with that fight for me is... Was the suck. The suck was a... Was I the only one who just saw that pulse? The suck suck. It very much did. Why is that one allowed to ride? Probably another police investigation. Okay. Uh... Let's get the Swede back in there. The PM was fun, but not really that powerful. Uh, shotgun, I think we'll put you on ice for now. Okay, let's get let's get going. For some reason, I really thought that was would be like a no clippable uh, object. this bola cola pretty impressive isn't it you can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible i just wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place the celebration True. will be held on monday in honor of <laughs> national polymerization and the launch of collective 2.0 all the highest ranking members of the communist party will be here i can fix all this by then i certainly hope your optimism turns out to be really justified. you're will. hoping You'll to see. salvage this i won't let dr sechin off down again you know the particles actually do, do look really fucking good more locked doors who the hell keeps locking everything Whoever he is, I bet he's got a goddamn combination lock on the John at home. Don't just such a novel. will be open via a symbolic gesture during the ceremony. Symbolic so, how? The system of mirrors will focus beams of light on the model of our solar system hanging above the entrance. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. No. Oh. Pull that back, maybe? Ah. Uh. The mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. Wait, back to the basement? Oh. Hello. Okay. Maybe this? There we go. Oh, that mirror. The mirror on the right is all set. Okay. So, what do I do here, then? I, for some reason, didn't even see the fucking lever. Never mind, that's not a lever. That's... That's a confetti machine. Pull back, god damn you. Oh. Oh, I needed to hold it open. Okay. Okay, now I see. No I got entry and a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. What? Where, Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located oh, there. on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP. What did that say? It's not going to Oh, watch just I thought it said fuck off. Hope not, comrade major. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen, but this is merely a hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? Hmm. That's weird. Well, whatever. All right, save. Fading data. So why do I have a feeling that this is going to trigger something? Oh, <laughs> I was like, okay. Uh, while located in an area with strong mag magnetic fields, you can use shock to on the magnetic cause to change the polarity. So, skaboosh. Oh. 
Oh god. Whoa. Is this their excuse for like a zero gravity room? Oh, there's loot down there. Looty loot. Yeah. Might I remind you that you can change the magnet's polarity with a single shot? I already charge. did. God. Can I play a single game these days without getting fucking? Comrade Major, have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. I am really not liking that doctor right now. Is there loot in here that I can get? There's a body. Ow. Did not mean to go that far. Alright. Dude. Hey, covering. Wait, have you by any chance seen Oleg? Depends on who Oleg is. My partner. We were My partner. We kept saying these things would be the death of us. We even bet on who would be dismembered by magnets first. We got separated. Why is everyone so ship? morbid in so this I fucking game? Either they're supremely fucking horny, or they're just... Oh, I have a- I'm on an actual timer. Uh... I'm afraid you lost. Looks like Oleg bit the big one first. Oh? Oh, snap. But oh, snap. Again, we bet on being killed by magnets, not the fucking robots. So technically, I haven't mm. yet lost. Well, the dead shouldn't bother the living. Mind your head. Huh? Oh shit, that is actually, like, something up there. It would be so funny if I actually died if I wasn't paying attention from that. That would be funny. Also, why the fuck are they experimenting so much with fucking magnets? They're magnets. They pull or they don't pull. Simple. Dung. Like, what is this room actually for? Like, actually, what is this room for? I mean, you can create magnetic fields with electricity, I guess. You can create electricity with magnetic fields. I guess, but like, why such, why design a room like this though? I guess that's more or less, I just realized what I can do. Oh, they're too heavy. Kind of? Kind of not? Oh! Well, I'm definitely supposed to be able to, like, grab smaller things or they're, like, lighter. Oh, no, god damn it. I doubt the game's design is grounded in real realism. Not even necessarily realism, but like just general logic is more is more of the thing that I'm on about. Oh, oh, I'm just supposed to go on the cables. I thought it was supposed to like stack boxes and shit. Oh, oh, an upgrade for the um, snowball. Hello. No. Ow. Okay, that is definitely something. Okay. That hole is definitely for something. Then again... Oh, it's absolutely not. Damn it. Fuck. 
Oh, I survived because of the uh, because of the perk. So what the hell is that hole for? That is it just aesthetic? I think it just is. Fuck sakes. N n no, it's literally cut content. You're not wrong. So this wall leads me to here. Hmm. Hmm? Oh. I keep thinking I'm gonna get flung up like that. Data. Those freaks and their goddamn mustaches again. Okay. Originally, there was a slide like a kids' play area. Oh, God. You know, that could be kind of fucking funny. Okay, so... I haven't really been able to demonstrate this part of the game all that much, but there are actual, like, lock-picking mechanics in the game. Uh, this is one of, I think, like, four different kinds. So this is just a simple timing puzzle. Every time you time the, the beat... Um, over the, like, extended parts of that lock, the, the, um, the, the blinking lights go in the opposite direction at double speed, eventually going really damn fast. There's also a more traditional lock picking system, uh, involving the tendrils on the glove. Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. Uh, yes, what everyone needs. Lockpicking mechanics. What's the point of this fucking oh. maze anyway? The oh, and the shock absorption system was developed by scientists right, from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very so... complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic mm. shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying oh, what? it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. Oh, I unlocked it. Okay. I thought I didn't have it. Also, I was not paying attention. I was focused on the puzzle. So yeah, this one basically is just a rotating puzzle. You need to align the, the lasers with the colors corresponding on this green thing here. Normally this is on a wall, so I don't know why it's on the floor right now. It would normally be like on a wall like this or like that. It's a pretty simple puzzle. Uh, loot? Yes. Are you down bad? Are you down bad? No, you're not. Face down, ass up. As most synths should be. Well, I wonder if there's something in there. So, Stacy, what are you thinking about? I don't know, Jessica. I'm just having a good time in my life right now. Ooh, like what? This bit that Sweet is doing, it's like, not funny, but gosh, she's trying. Who? Well, one of them came back, came to life, so you're not wrong. God damn, I aimed at the head and it kept... Yeah, they really do that. They do be doing that. Then again, I probably could have seen that he was, like, actually not dead dead. Oh. Looks like there's something behind here. Let me guess, more content. 
Okay, so one actually moves around. <laughs> Cut content! Oh my god, I'm so hungover. Uh, okay, I see how this is. Ah. Fuck! I really thought I would grapple onto the side of that. I did do the thinking, and it was wrong. Can't wait for you to get crushed. I'm actually kind of expecting it, not gonna lie. Like, I keep expecting it to just, like, crush me randomly. That went lower down than I thought. Wait a minute. That, that wasn't there. You were not there on the floor. You were literally not there. <gasps> Fuck. That's a fucking leap of faith. <sighs> I heard... I heard footsteps. Open just a second ago. Okay, let's actually try to solve this right now. Okay. What the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. Oh, He's there the we go. Made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are, but neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be like? precise, Comrade Major. It's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. Yep. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrade Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common, everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. This would end some kind of plan prematurely, then. Sechenov has some kind of plan with these robots that, because of what, what Petrov did, would end that plan prematurely. So it requires secrecy in order for that plan to work. 
But why would Molotov care to keep this a secret? If only... Something doesn't add up here. Okay, uh, let's see. Red, red, green, and we have the green up there. Oh. This was just a flat-out straightforward puzzle. Just move the green down. That opened the door. Alright, sweet. Maybe he's also planning to kill the leaders when they visit? Maybe. Yeah, that would cause the, the fucking summit to not occur. That's true. Okay. Tell me, what in the ever-living fuck is this robot supposed to do? This game is just horny! This is not even the fifth time I've seen this thing! The only difference is this one is yellow! This game is just horny! Internal piston that's moved... moved... That, that is moved by a magnetic sleeve on the exterior. AKA a masturbation joke. Like, that cannot generate more power than the amount of power it would. Bro, come on. Okay, I can defend a lot of things in this game, but. Bro. You have space on the bottom! Flip it upside down, it doesn't need to clip into the ceiling! Who wouldn't want a self-stroking cock? Uh, how to confuse the ladies one-on-one. -on -one. 101. Whoa! Why does that room even need a ceiling? You can't access it. I don't know, man. Like, a lot of developments typically are, like, just copy-pasting shit. Like, these assets are clearly, like, just copy-pasted every once in a while, but, like... I don't know. Like, this isn't a bad game, but good lord, there are some really questionable things in this game. You think so too, right? You think so too. Uh, something in there, maybe? Uh, ow. Why is this even here? Okay, some rooms are just randomly here for no reason. Out. Oh. I can hear the masturbation. <laughs> Thank fuck! Yay! <laughs> I, I don't even know anymore. Oh, they're divided into two sections. I see it now. Whoa! They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? 
But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take Collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. True. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal. I mean, yeah, such others. is communism in, in a nutshell. True communism literally cannot exist because true communism would actually be... So I was actually finally like educated on what commu what actual communism is. The idea is to um, basically is basically to like collect all resources and distribute it completely evenly to everyone in government and everything, and then as time progresses, dissolve that government body. It is a reset system. Does the Soviet, does Russia and China look like they're about to dissolve? No. They're not true communistic, um, co communistic, uh, societies. Because governments are supposed, uh, their governments are supposed to dissolve after the distribution of wealth. So true communism is never gonna happen. Because that would involve everyone being altruistic enough to give up their, their well-earned resources that uh, that they've earned themselves over years and years and years. So, of course, no one's going to be equal in a system like the Collective. Because there's always going to be someone needing to take charge, and that person is going to be very susceptible to... True communism does not require government because each individual has the same value and rights. Yeah, but that's only after the dissolvement of, of the government system itself. The whole point of it just doesn't hold any water in, like, in, like, a human society. Oh, so I need to make this, like, completely green, then. Okay, um... How do I make this completely green? Oh. Uh... Okay, so... Ah, I see it. Right? Yeah. Because it cuts off the reds. See? I'm smarter than you. I'm smarter than you. Fuck you. No. I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority and collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has yeah. to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, hmm. mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. <laughs> Has anyone ever reached that level? Even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within So collective, collective won't actually be true unification, just been. false. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader, a puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Why Ministers, the fuck would a glove knows the the, know this? Are you trying to say there's going to be one single leader in Collective? I'm yes. I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuro connector. You mean a thought device. Everyone knows that. The so the thought device, device is, is going to be very citizens. But individuals Slavery, in privileged yeah. leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing. Right? No, it they're going to But why is he such a dumbass? Via the alpha connector. 
It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. Very much he so. He wants to take control of Collective. That's why he's on his way here right now. Crispy critters. I never liked that. I guy. will say though, he's and I'm going to talk about this about after this. Off, but I never expected shit like this from him. We got to hurry. So, I get that they need to like kind of like have some exposition because how do you move the story from it's it's their Jesus Christ. It's their Jesus Christ because as as far as I'm aware, isn't Russian culture very much like atheistic? As far as I know anyway, I could be completely wrong. Um But yeah, no, like the entire purpose of communism is is not even to have one leader. It's not it's just as a means to, like, divvy up all of the resources evenly so that everybody can start from scratch and start from, you know, the same place. Because no one person can have the answers to, every, to everything. See, even this guy's pondering the question to this. So, ah, okay. Uh, what? That's a fucking leap of faith. That's a fucking glitch and a half. Is what that was. Okay. Loot. Like, I'm never gonna be a person who, like, says I know the best political system and, like, best, you know, people system. Because I don't. I, I don't. Democracy has its problems. Communism has its problems. Dictatorships are clearly a fucking problem. But the fact that everybody just keeps going on, like, Oh, my system's better than your system because we have this ideology. It's just asinine, really. That's all it is. It's kind of one of the reasons why I don't like discussing about political uh, political issues. No one will ever agree to everything. And the human race is not meant to have... So, uh, so apparently Crispy Critters is their attempt at, at localizing a, a Russian curse that literally translates to fucking pies. But absurdist, absurdist curses are common in Russian, but not in English, so it stands out. Isn't that kind of like Britches like calling someone spoon? Because how did, how is spoon an insult? It's just a curse without it being a curse. What the fuck are you staring at? Also, I just realized these two have boobs. The other ones didn't have boobs. So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up. This place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. Hmm. Has actual meaning. Oh. Okay, hold on. How do I... So, what happens if I do this? Oh, that did it. I can't get in. Oh, oh, okay. That was the thing for that. Okay. Spoon is like a Victorian slang for a, for a moron slash simpleton, as they were as shallow as a spoon. Oh, that makes more sense. Ooh, large Neuromed capsule. Sweet. Uh, yeah. So how the fuck do we get back out then? 
Do we have to go all the way back? Surely not. That, I, I get it. I ain't no spoon, okay? I just wasn't sure about the uh, about the full on de uh, description of it. Bro. Sometimes it wants to like actually cling on to things, but then sometimes it just absolutely does not want to. Is there a way for me to get back up here? Oh, or not? I tried. You know, it's weird. We had a lot of forklifts running around basically being like a menace. Now all of a sudden there's like no forklifts running around being a menace. Even though we see a lot of forklifts themselves. So, how do I... Can I knock it? I am confused. Huh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I actually have no idea where to go. Because I can't make this jump. Because this platform isn't going high enough some reason. Maybe I need to stand on some boxes? Well, now you just went under. Do this, lift it up or not. And don't, don't fall, don't you. Stay up, stay up there, stay up there. Like, like it just, it doesn't let me. I can't climb up there. Yeah, I know, and I need to get back out now. I need to return to the surface so I can, like, mess around with, like, with that Adam statue.
receiving data. Okay, well that's just fucking lazy. I I can't go in. Are you fucking serious? I had to crouch. Okay, this game is not clear sometimes. Comrade Major, the government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. Devices with arrows are another of the indicators we have to Nothing. control. Uh, that's what I thought. What? Wait, yeah, no, I had legitimately no idea what the fuck I was supposed to do there. Why does everyone but main character have a Russian accent? I mean, some people have had Scottish accents. I think it's just the voice actors that they got. There are some people with clearly Texan accents as well, which is even more fucking distracting. I was about to say, like, it's not like doing that beeping. Wait, why is this in English? Wait, what? 99% of all other texts have been in, have been in Russian, have been in Cyrillic. Why is this randomly now in English? The fuck? This is legitimately biz- Oh, see, this puzzle I actually kind of like. Because this is a pattern puzzle. A pattern lock, I mean. N93. I don't know if that's the same one. I would have thought that it all translated into whatever speech language it is. The thing is, some some of them do like let you hover over them so you can get the translation. Some of the Cyrillic characters just you, like for example this Re recreation. So some things will allow you to just like get translations like this because not everybody's Russian. It's also where you go and save. It's a safe area. Authorization. <sighs> Major Nichat. Like, I like this game. I really fucking do. But it does have some weird quirks about it. Abs of fucking loot way. Uh, do I want to upgrade that? Not really. Uh, see on the map. This map just does not fucking work. Decreases recoil. I don't know how a stock increases damage of a gun. Uh, I think I'll... I'm not using the shotgun at the moment, and I don't need that ammo. Uh... Out of sort, out of sort. Actually, thinking about it, why do I even need these two? I have freezing powers. Fucking I'm close. There is an AoE based version of this as well. Wait, what? Uh game, I've had that before. Oh wait, that's the ability, right. That's good too. Energy bonus. Uh 
Just consume half of the resources for this. No. Electro pistol. Honestly, this EMP effect is really fucking good, so I'm gonna upgrade that. Barrel. Rate of fire. Damage. Yes. And this one too. Because this Electro Pistol is really damn good against just like robotic enemies, and since the majority of enemies in this game are robotic, yeah. Okay, we need to find this this uh, this key code. Welcome to the How can can I? How can I help you? I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? The line can be with the multi key. My multi key error. Multi key not found. Well, models can transform their index. Right, Tedish models are not a part of the um, collective Looks like system. Lost your multi -key. My forms have been torn off by miscreants. Error. The required manipulative node is missing. The unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. Where could she have lost her hands? I yeah, pretty much. Searching this location. Well, Charles, what do the special neural connectors for Collective look like? You know, the ones the government is supposed to get. The ones they will get look like thought devices, but in a golden diamond encrusted shell. The scientists from Dr. Sechenov's team have already received different devices. Different? You mean there's going to be ones with different capabilities? Well, yes. That's what that means. Plan, bureaucrats and civil servants will receive fakes. Only the scientists will receive real connectors with discretionary authority. The boss is going to try to deceive the government? That's crazy. How do you know that? Yeah, you get that's... your neuropolymer glove from, comrade? Sechenov. What? You mean yourself? I got you from Dr. Sechenov. Exactly. Hold on. You mean he gave me his own glove? The fate of his life's work depends on the success of your mission. <laughs> he did ask me to be careful with you. But, okay, but why would he allow the glove that he gave to his agent, who clearly is, like, pro-Soviet Union, be programmed to be telling him about what's going on? Clearly, Sechenov has his own plans in action anyway. Like, he has a plan with all of this. Molotov, yes, his his plan to take over the collective and rule it is far worse, but that doesn't mean that Sechenov's thing is like better. Whatever that happens to be. So I don't know why Sechenov would allow the glove to be telling Nechev all of this in the first place. It makes no sense to me. Shut up. Okay, I need to figure out what this code is. You know what? I'll leave you to it. I, 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 I'll, I'll leave you to it. Hello. Um. See, I have no idea why randomly tendrils are just, like, strangling people. This has been happening here and there across the game. Ooh. We found it. Okay, so... So... Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> Strangle me, Zaddy. Okay, so it ends in the center. Yeah. Hellooing, housekeeping, loot keeping. Oh yeah, good shit. Ah, mod. <coughs> Electro blueprint for that thing I don't want to use because quite frankly energy regenerates fast enough. Department of Corrections report number forty four hundred. Oh, that's Oleg. Oleg. The employee who disappeared has been found. Oh. The theory that he was on a bender turned out to be false. 
The engineer's body was found in the magnetic earthquake system in a state that prevented it from being identified without DNA analysis. Squad 5 performed a series of procedures to delete data in facility 3826's archive, and any references to Comrade Lazarus have been removed from Damas OS social networks. We had been ordered to hold a training seminar for the VDNH's junior earthquake system staff about the serious danger the magnets pose mm. to all employees. This is the third one this year. People need to take this seriously. Now, I know that you're not dangerous right now. But I also really want your loot. Bada bee, bada boo, snap! By the way, these things are really fucking tanky. Like I said, really fucking tanky. Hey, yo, why the fuck you running around like Spider-Man? Oh, but you had some... Oh, you had the good... Like I said, why is this so well detailed? Like, actually, why? Why is this game so well detailed on the weirdest things? Oh, what an eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk. The oh look, a machine. Russian accent. <laughs> it's a phase, it'll pass. It's a phase, it'll pass. It's already passing. I can't even remember my own name anymore. But his metal mug is still there. I still remember the bastard gutting me. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff. Well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh well. Just leave me alone. I want to doze off. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fuck Scotland, am I right? Fucking hell, these robots bastards. Just pouring up another monster. Damn, this, this cup really does contain exactly one monster. Yeah, that lid is way nicer to use. Huh, <sighs> all right. Nerd. All right. <clears throat> ah, yes. For a single cable, you have to have the girthiest pipe clamp I've ever seen. The the absolute biggest criticism I have of this game. Bar none, no flashlight. I have looked. He's all over the place. Nechev, why are you surprised by this? The, the, the other cables are cut content. No, you you want to know what's cut content? A fucking flashlight. It's the reason why the brightness levels were like maxed out. I literally couldn't see sometimes. Because it was just that fucking dark. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. Hello. And there's Tereshkova's arm. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? 
I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. About that, let's loot first. Uh, da -da 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 -da. After the visitor have taken the hidden VD, VD and H test. Oh, it's absolutely gonna fight me. Uh, why VD and H and H? <laughs> More. Why did we name our VDNH after the famous museum in Moscow? At first, we wanted to call it the, Mu the Museum of Russian Progress, but we all agreed that the acronym MORP was less than ideal in terms of euphony. I mean, welcome, comrades and various ambassadors, to MORP. <laughs> Sounds like a term from Morbius. Welcome. I am now going to show you the morp room. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. You know, it, it, it's the smaller things with this game that just cracks a smile. It's the smaller things. That and the looting is still just like, oh, 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 oh other games fucking or like, it's morping time. Hey, yo, you remember in Soviet Russia alternate universe where you morphed all over the place? That was that was a moment of all time. That was the moment of all time. Oh, come on. You know you want to give me the loot. There we go. Oh, I just sucked arm. I just gave the arm the good. Oh, yep. Fuck that. There's no way I'm leaving that thing alive. Haha, <laughs> get bugged. I didn't mean to cut off your arm, mate. Hey, yo, what? Hey, yo, why the fuck you got that acidic stomach, my guy? He really did- he's splurging again! Get your acid reflux under control, my guy! That's it, I'm installing Electro. Onto my axe. Because that's a thing you can do in this game. loot to be had here oh keeping them interested uh, listen up everyone i took a look at some recordings of your tours uh, why are they so boring graphics are this and that kind of robot yada 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 and then you get all technical uh, there are kids there you know young pioneers octopus you gotta keep them entertained yeah watch this this is robot graphic He's really nice and friendly. He might be a little on the chubby side, but uh, he's really neat. Or, I don't know, he kicks ass. You want us to say ass in front of the kids? You know what I mean. Don't say he <laughs> kicks ass. Say, I don't know, something else. Make the tours fun. Let the little buggers crawl all over the bus. I think Rafiq front did front kick front ass. Because this guy twerking. This guy twerking. Oh no, I ruined it. See that what you that's what you get for not digging. Yes! Uh, uh, yes! Give me that twerk. Give me that. You know what? Witness what your lower half is doing in your stead. Witness it. I said, witness it. He looks so bored. Fine. You want to be bored? Oh, 
so dumb. I'm just gonna adjust my shorts real quick. <clears throat> oh, it's actually getting really fucking warm in here. I don't have a window open, right? Can't tell. I have to go around and I don't want to do that. 1847. The Soviet Union sure is an amazing place, isn't it? Man, am I ever proud to be a Soviet citizen. What a country. I wholeheartedly agree. Over the last decade, we've made magnificent strides in science and technology. Oh, God, just get a room with Putin already. Jesus. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? This. Oh, damn, I got a lot of polymer for that. Uh... Y yes Increased ch Faster recharge on that shit Fuck yeah uh, Let's see I don't have the PM on me I do not need a dynamo Nor electro, condensed milk Don't have the shotgun on me I'll, I'll take the meds though Yeah, you know, I'll take a vodka just in case I need the boost. Fading data. Okay, I got your stupid fucking arm. How does it work? Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Oh god, I'm pulling a Navi. Multi key activated. Ha! I fingered the door. I fingered the door. The globe and the palm now of your what? hand. Oh. Hello? Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The yes. Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't get oh, it's weapons. gone from there. Mutt. Okay, enough. Oh, what? Later. I just wanted to Greetings, look. Greetings, comrades, and welcome to the All Soviet Exhibition the Center. ASEC? What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror. But my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it. How can you be grossed out by anything? I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you and may lead to death of the surviving people, Ooh. assuming there are still any left. Exactly. Mm. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. I mean, I did just this enter. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove <laughs> really? that you are a human. What, am I gonna identify Fuck. fucking what test? cows? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly oh confirm my. this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn... Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichaya. Nichaya. Three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. What, Art, what pedestal? Labor and life. Crispy critters. Now I gotta deal with another crazy ass lock. Fuck. I'm a magnet for 
Annoying bullshit. I'm randomly speeding up and yet not. Like, what? <laughs> that is not a fucking sentience test, you dumb robo bitch. Oh dear god. Wait. Wait a minute. One carbon and two oxygen. Carbon monoxide? No. That would could that would be carbon dioxide. Look, I haven't actually done chemistry since I was like fucking 13. I don't remember this shit. It's strange that the Tereshkova loves them, even though she's a robot. Okay. Flowers. Give her flowers. CO2. What the fuck was CO2 again? Some robots are almost human, and some humans are almost robots. Wait. Are you telling me that they're actually... Oh. Strange times we live in. Carbon dio- Oh, carbon dioxide, right. I don't know I don't know why it took me that long to remember what the fuck carbon dioxide was. I don't know why. I think I actually have some kind of like fucking brain disease. Uh, tool steel. Steel with carbon co composition of 0 .0 point 0.7% or higher. Wait, steel with carbon co with a carbon composition of 0.7% or higher. Wait, steel with a carbon composition of 0.7% or higher. This steel is extremely hard and durable. Parentheses are following the fin the final thermal processing, and is used to make tools. Du -du 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 yeah. Okay, so I want that. Give me. Right, life, work, and what? The next generation? Did I just consume a radio? Oh wait, that's one of them. Oh, I have to go around. So... About this Darwin test. Art, yes. right, music. I am always happy to help, Major. Uh, just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for something for that multi key again. Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi key again. The hammer, tool of working men. The sickle, peasant's friend. The many pointed star they praise and with their lives defend. <sighs> I'm so confused. Uh, here you go. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the springs, cheerful hymn. Be yourself, strive and earn. Life, I love you, and hope you love me in return. This is definitely oh, supposed to be your like. Face, you dumbass toaster. I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. This is clearly supposed to be like in Russian, because like that. That lyric just doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, Put something cheerful on, would you? It kind of feels like the also, end of the world good right Lord. now. Uh, Radio of is the just... future. Astonishing music. Oh. But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is going to be the music of the past once we actually get there? And nobody's going to write it 30 years from now. Cause oh, yeah. Already... Um, so, brief explanation about how... What he's talking about. Um... Literally, so this is going to be very convoluted, so bear with me here, bear with me here. The radios in this time period, they don't necessarily take transmissions of radio waves from the future as much as using algorithms to figure out how, what music is going to sound like in the future. That's basically how they keep getting new music despite there being... No new music. It's fucking weird. It's fucking weird. Exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted. 
You have discovered a temporal paradox. How very observant you are. The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located within a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated... No, because basically, what we're hearing as music now, we're going to be inspired by to create then in the future, so that by the time we're in that future where that music we're hearing right now is being played, we're hearing the future future's music. It's basically a feedback loop in a, tw in a twi twisty loop. It keeps rolling back on itself, but also pushing forward. It's not that complicated. It really isn't. Good explanation. It's more or less the mechanics of it Pioneer making sense, as suppose as you less of. The Darwin test with flying colors. Tell but wait, okay, hold on. If we pass the Darwin test, that means that you understand how to solve the Darwin test. Because if you understand these things, that makes you more intelligent and and more sentient than any. Automaton ever. So this test doesn't make any fucking sense. You literally. The, she broke her own test. She literally just broke her own test. Because the fact that she understands that we got that answer right means that she understands what the answer is, which a robot is not supposed to do. <laughs> Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? A cosmonaut. What a splendid career choice. I would... Well, I rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? What's going on? Do you have on? a memory leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. <gasps> Are you yanking my fucking chain? But... I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots. Oh, that's so one. difficult. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Before that dreadful nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire, apart. Did they scatter her all over the complex or something? Precisely. How did you know, dear comrade? Call it a hunch. Do I have to scout or the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me so I can tell you where the pieces of poor <laughs> yeah. Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. Oh, plug it in. We're running out of time. Surely, let's go. The robots must have completely lost their minds. A little bit faster, a little. I can't. I can't shoot. I'm so angry I farted. Hey, yo, you don't need to gobble his nuts like that. Oh my, would you look at this? Oh my god, they're really doing this. It's such a noble goal. But you, how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal, <laughs> like a beast to crush and dismember. <sighs> And this one, it just stands there buck naked, as if nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, robot? Publicly exposing your iridium compactor. You do realize he didn't do it himself, right? Oh my, that's a mess. And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? 
I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. No, wait. It's the cleaners that did it. I'm so scatterbrained today. I just realized that thing has like fucking razor razor things. Oh, I envy you humans. You can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible monstrous mustache off. But this one, you're not even a machine, you nitwit. That thing is a hundred kilos? You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's hey, yo, you don't need to fry him time. like this. Oh, well, let's change the subject. My God, woman. You don't need to fucking flame his ass to death. Of the lab tech models, the ones in black, turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser so that's to what they fully look like. Distance. How did it ever come to this? Just so you know, the black lab tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated black lab techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. What? I didn't understand a single thing you just said. You're an assistant, Tereshkova. Talk human. Shocking. You have no sense of decency. This character really does You've doesn't. already met Nora, the monstrous repair vendor who subjected uh -huh. humans to unimaginable deadly torture. It pains my algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule. Oh to upgrade my your god, weapons. move on. Yeah, yeah, move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. On my way, comrade. On my way, comrade. Move. We. Wrath. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's the sweetest, silliest, chubbiest little boy? Oh my god, they actually are treating them like children. You don't attack people even when you're in combat mode. Because you're such a little sweetie, isn't that right? Aren't you precious? I'm about to rip her arm off. I'm about to rip her arm off. Oh, recreation. There's gonna be a... Comrade, the administrative control drive should be at this booth. Please establish the connection. <sighs> Wait, what? Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Only try to be gentle, comrade major. I have very delicate uh, internals. Uh, oh, what just snapped? Relax, bot. That's my joints cracking. I uh, does this look all right? No, it doesn't. Do not roll your head your eyes. Successfully. What now? <sighs> I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. The fuck? Did my mouse glitch out? No. Oh, there we go. This game is... So fucking weird. Like... This game needs to fucking chill, I swear. Yeah, give me that fucking ammo. Holy shit, you can carry around a fuck ton, can you? Yep. Uh, let's dump that and grab two electric cartridges. Alright, 
What do you do? You do something. Wow, check this place out. It's like a palace. Talk about Oh my class. god, that guy really did get fucking sucked up. In. Attention, BDNH staff. Visiting hours. Why is this one yellow? Please conclude all Oh, they really do get just get fucking ground up, don't they? Whoa! Hey yo! Ugh. Passing gas faster than she passes the scenery. Yeah, fucking Christ. There we go. Is that it? No, it's it's at least in a corridor. Just can't get can't get to it. Oh. Bada bing boom. That's what you fucking get. Just gonna shut you off before you do anything. Stop. I said stop. Before you crush my ass. Oh! You only get turned off temporarily. Yeah, these things are just kinda going fucking crazy, huh? Nothing in there. <laughs> oh. Okay, we definitely have a problem. This plan's here. Why, why did I just shout, watch out? I'm alone here. Fuck your kneecaps. Hey, yo, why the fuck you not dying? There we go. Wait, what is that? There's loot in there, and I kind of want it. Unless it's another piece of cut content. Skidoosh! Ow. Wow. Hurt. Oh, I need. Oh my god, not more of these. Oh. Okay. Oh, recreation. Sweet. Save. Don't you dare fucking... You're not a monk. You're a dead corpse. Oh. Oh, you're like old. Okay. This is new. What's wrong Wait, with Wait, no, she's head? not old. Welcome. Come, 
closer. Be not afraid of my power. Does she think she's like immortal? What the f Charles, is this another corpse? I am Oracle. I am the All Seer. I used to be a simple archive worker, but now I am omnipotent. I see everything. Somebody definitely had fun with me in this recording. And I am everything. Got it. Talk about rotten luck. Charles, this one's completely lost her marbles. What yep. is this skepticism? Sergei Alexeyevich, you should be catching Viktor Petrov instead of doubting my greatness. An interesting deviation. Hmm. This woman is suffering from polymer oh. This can happen when a human brain is connected to a large body of data. Obviously, this is what killed her. And now, for a brief time, the Oracle has merged with the entire VDNH. Oh. She can access all computers, cameras, and terminals. So she's part of the complex? With unrestricted access to everything? What? Huh. So, you're the Oracle, huh? Of can course. Can you prove it? I have no need to prove my power to you, mortal. But I guess I could indulge you for amusement's sake. <laughs> what if she just like fucks her? It's just like, dude, just let me have this. I'm dead. The kind spirits that look after you and will silently weep forever. But what would be the point if you can't even see what's going on right under your nose? <sighs> That's quite a load of something. Let's make this simple. Open this door for me, would ya? Will I? I will. <laughs> <laughs> I could open all doors. Did we just seriously open trick this body? And the future, behold, open up. <laughs> oh, did she actually just die? Oof, too much information can drive you crazy. Indeed. I'd like to compliment you on your resourcefulness. That was clever. I guess you can think outside the box. Yeah, yeah, I'm real proud of myself. She sure was a useful lady. How'd she find out about me and my mission at Vavilov if she never left the VDNH? That is a trenchant observation, Comrade Major. And a very good question. One that I have no answer for. Basically, we couldn't figure out a way to actually tie this into a logical reason, so fuck you, we don't know. Oh, they looked like they were lootable. Charles, what do the special neuroconnectors from Sechenov's team look like? The special neuroconnectors have the Greek letter Gamma on them and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right arm. Gamma? What happened to Beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter Beta on them, but the Beta connectors were... I was about to make a joke before I saw the, the, the beta connected with the real at first. It's like, oh, they put beta on everybody who's who's going to be a bitch. They're betas. At first. Uh, I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuro connectors with discretionary authority were called beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So, what happened to them? After the necessary experiments were complete... Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neuro connectors. Enhanced gamma models shaped like bracelets were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay, there are only seven of those gamma connectors? For Vavilov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Filimonenko, and Chelome? Indeed. Okay. Comrade! Hey, comrade! Help! Get me out of here! I'm a student from the Torah! My father's, like, really, really important?! But that is really, really important. <laughs> so what am I su supposed to do about that? Congratulations. Except it doesn't matter anymore. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Do you even know who he is? He'll build you a country house, mm -hmm. Send you on a vacation. <laughs> or maybe you want a car. Come on, man. Just get me out of here. Whoever your old man is, his son is dead. What? What do you fucking mean, dead? How am I talking to you then? Are you an idiot? You are the working class. So work, damn you! Jesus. Do you even know who I am? 
No. no, I don't, and I don't care. We're not buddies. Get that through your thick skull, and the working class can punch back, you spineless piece of... Meat? Well, uh, am I really? Shit. And yes, you are. I'll pass it along to your tour guide. Uh, whoever that may be. Oh. Well, it's not hostile yet. But on the other hand, you have really nice loot. So I'm gonna have to ask you to die. How do you like that, gearhead? Wait, why did oh Oh my god! Holy fuck! I did not expect this room to be filled with fucking robots! Come to Papa. Get over here. Stop spooging me! Well, that could have definitely gone better. Well, fuck it. I'm a gamer, so I beat that. Easy. Holy shit, though. <laughs> oh, it's the trees. I was wondering what the fuck that splooging sound was. Okay. Hit the boot on. Legends will never die. Oh, it's corn. This remains true even for agricultural crops. The specimens of purposely bred plants presented here are capable of surviving in any environment, even on the surface of other planets. Oh yeah, they're trying to like make Mars viable via the polymer technology. That's like the whole point. Did I miss something? I did. Ah! Triangle moon canister. Oh. And you have another one. The fuck? Um. Game? Why is this thing undulating? Oh. I just don't want to deal with you right now, so I'll die. Okay, thanks. Okay, so I got two of them. Oh! There's the fucking square one. It was in plain fucking sight? That... You can't be serious. I had the square one right behind me from the very fucking get-go. It was just fucking blind luck. Okay, what's the blueprint on this one? Nothing, I guess. Well, a lot of resources at the very least, so that's something. Charged. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait, where's the other dude?
Enough. Enough. loot so this is the aeronautics oh I did miss, miss loot in there somehow oh my god that was a perfect fucking swing there we go we got this yes just now. Look, I never said I was very good at pronouncing these words. Can I just Oh. Oh. The arm's missing. Well, I found the main body at the very least. Let's go from bottom to top. New scanning cycle. Module, oh. limb, leg, left. Not found. <sighs> Just great. So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit, these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room. I'm on my way. Hmm, <laughs> just regular brown ones right now. Uh, such enough. Oh, I can click on them to get more? Oh! I didn't even realize. Uh, can I just scroll down? No. Why is it scrolling so poorly? Oh my god, it scrolls better when I'm hovering over somebody. Okay. Ooh, there's another chest near. Ice cartridge. The cella. Oh, the big one in the middle. Oh my god, I didn't even realize. Recreation. Save real quick. Let's see, do we have enough polymers? Yes, we do. Uh, that's really fucking good. Oh my god. Yes. More loot capabilities. Let's fucking go. That took way too damn long to get to that, to that point. I need, oh my god, I need so much fucking metal parts. Um. Hmm. I 
I really want to make one. Ah, that's a TIG bead. Cool. What can I disassemble to get this done? I need meds. Like, all of it, pretty much right now. Don't need fire cartridges. Take those two. Sort, sort, disassembly. Uh, I'm pretty much never going to be using these, but I'm going to keep at least one on standby. These just have organics. That looks to be this, right? Chemistry, yeah. I need metal parts. Uh, I don't need that much PM ammo. The PM could probably be, like, really fucking good. But I, ju I just don't think they're good against, like, robots and shit. What did the... What did this do? Oh. Uh... Uh... Again, we have freezing capabilities in other, in other places. Let's get rid of a stack of ammo. I just need crafting materials right now. So I can make stuff. Damn, I'm so fucking close right now. I need seven more. What can we... What can we disassemble? Mmm... That's synthetic material. Uh... It's only synthetic material. Maybe. <sighs> Why is this one fucking metal and this one synthetic? Whatever. I want that melee weapon more than anything. Because as, as funny as it is to swing around the Swede, I feel like this other weapon is going to be a lot more powerful. Oh, yeah. Ooh, an uppercut ability too. Let's Please select the desired. Can we upgrade this thing? Uh, handle. We need the recipe for that. Hey yo. Because, yeah, like, this thing pretty much beats it, beats the Swede in every category but charge speed. Okay. Uh, I have both on me, though. I don't want that. So, what will it be, Major? I'll put the Swede back in storage. A sentence I never thought I'd actually hear myself say. Uh, vodka. Uh, where do we put? Ayo? This place used to be really nice. Until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. 
Oh, that's what I'm looking at. The thing through the wall. Okay. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Hey, yo. Are you gonna hurt me? If you're gonna hurt me, I'm just gonna shoot you. Oh, yeah. Hold on a second. Why is this not... That's what you fucking get. Quick and easy farming. Oh. Could you, like, not... Okay, so this is a bumblebee. This is the thing that brought the car over to the lower grounds. Uh, I have a feeling that thing's gonna come alive. A Abelyash. This thing almost killed me earlier. The RDS-5. Well, that's not freaky. PDH-60 is a specimen from the so-called Living Head Experiment, which was meant to research cerebral autonomization. Despite its functioning speech organs, the Living Head cannot speak for itself. It merely imitates human speech by decoding electromagnetic impulses sent in real time by a neuro neural network. Okay. Oh god, not one of these. Uh... Okay, um... Oh, was it really that simple? No, never mind. No, it wasn't. There we go. That one always trips me up. Because, like, you have to rotate in a very specific way, and it, cl and it rotates, like... You're not an actual security camera, right? Good. Uh, no. Um, yeah, this doesn't look freaky at all. Oh, got the got the fat boy blueprint hey this is new you may need to apply spatial reasoning here there's no may about it these locks of yours are really something you know that <clears throat> oh didn't even see that at first Okay. What the fuck is the point of this? Yeah, I have legitimately no idea what the fuck the point of this is. Oh, wait, god damn it. Hey, Charlie, why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks in? Yeah. Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who hacked the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody. Yep. Pretty much. 
So they didn't really think that part through, did they? Okay, that uppercut ability is like actually fucking insane. Pack a wallop! That goes through walls. Fuck your arm shield, Reinhardt wannabe. There we fucking go. Good lord, these things are unnecessarily tanky. go so what about the rest of it huh I see loot Charles I've never seen dr. Sechenov wearing a bracelet before does his alpha connector look different indeed it does his device is unique and its shape and location are one of Dr. Sechenov's deepest secrets. So his Alpha Connector must be really well guarded. Who's watching, Argentum? Entrusting humans with the Connector would be far too risky. It's guarded by Dr. Sechenov's personal bodyguards. You mean the Ballerina Twins? The way they move, they're so graceful and elegant. Horny. They kind of remind me of something. Is that so? What exactly, <laughs> Comrade Major? I don't know. Something... something <clears throat> good. Yes, the ballerina robots. The ballerina ones. You died on this thing. Okay, so... Why is this split up into these parts? What the fuck do I do about this? Um... No... Find a way to proceed. Does it have to be a pain in the ass to walk around it? Oh, I didn't even- I thought that was like closed off for some reason. Hmm. So wait, if I do this... Oh, I didn't even realize there's a fucking rotating wheel right there. So, this one has just an open space like that. That one's closed off. That one allows me to climb up that thing. I just wasn't sure how to turn the other one. Oh my god.
they basically just said with the pre-release of like, yeah, no, this is the best weapon. So we're just gonna give you a fucking skin for it. Please, that game. Fucking Christ! They just pushed like four fucking high health targets against me. Okay. Okay. Oh, ow. Fucking hell, what is with my back these days? Like I just stretched. Okay. I'll give this a couple of more tries. Okay, I get it. There we go. Christ, fucking Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. I usually like fight two of these at most at any time. Now I'm fighting like four high level ones. Heal, 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 heal. Reload, reload, reload. How do you like that, gearhead? Okay. Yeah, no. The power of the Kalashnikov still more powerful. But oh my god. God, that took a lot of fucking resources for that. Wait, wasn't there supposed to be a fourth one? Okay, let's see. So this changes both scenes. Golden pigs. Okay, so this one allows me to go in here. However, the next scene allows me to go to the side. Which allows me to do what? Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, maybe. Anything up there? No. Nothing in here. Alright, final one. Gives me... What? Magda puzzle? No. Does give me a doorway again. Hmm. All 
don't know what any of this is supposed to be. Oh, I'm supposed to fall through. To the bottom there. I think. But then this closes up. Which then brings us back to three. So what do I need to do here? Do I just need to bum rush this? I do, because I need to climb up. I need to bum rush to like there so I can then fall. Okay. Look, it took a second. It took, it took, it took. Climb up. Thank you. I needed to know to survey. Needed to survey the area. And this twists this half, so I can get across there. You have reached the facility service rooms, Major. One of my dear Claire's legs is most certainly there. Yeah. I can hope so. Is out there, right? Ayo. Rotor bot. Rotor rotor robot. I've never seen bots like these before. Why are there two of them? This robot is very dangerous in Holy combat. Uh, oh, so that's why I'm getting my ass kicked. Ow. Lousy piece of shit. Uh. What the- I can't- I literally couldn't move backwards. I literally couldn't move backwards. When there was nothing behind me. <sighs> okay, let's try that again. I've never seen bots like these before. This robot is very dangerous in melee combat. Uh, oh, so that's why I'm getting my ass kicked. What the fuck is there? Well, I got the leg. Charles, why did the boss take the wood connectors out of commission? Were they defective? Not entirely. Dr. Sechenov wasn't convinced that there was any need for discretionary authority within collecting. So the boss wanted to... Oh my god. Why all of a sudden are they throwing an enemy that just won't fucking die? Why did the boss the are you kidding me? I really just... Am I actually on a fucked save? You're kidding, right? You're actually kidding. Why did the boss take the real beta connectors out of commission? Were they defective? Not entirely. <laughs> Dr. Sechenov wasn't convinced that there was any need for discretionary authority within collective. So the boss wanted total equality, but Molotov's schemes changed his mind. Perhaps Pray to your so. tin god! What do you mean, perhaps? Dr. Sechenov wanted equality for everyone. There can be no question of that. But consider this. The Alpha Connector existed from the very beginning. Maybe the boss wasn't planning to use the Alpha Connector's power. He just needed it to launch Collective. That's possible, right? Anything is possible. I hate cheesing shit in, the, in video games, but these things are literally impossible for me to like get away from without having to do this. There we go. Fucking Christ. Oh, there you are. But that was by far one of the most annoying pieces of shit. You good? Uh, 
Okay. Okay. Ah, open up already. We're running out of time here. Oh, fuck it, Doc. Okay. Here's your leg. Do yourself a pair thing. <laughs> cool tech. At the very least, they have that capability, so that's good. Now, just need to find the rest of them. Bro. Alright. Don't. I don't like this game anymore. this stuff back yep and it's 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 over here in the biafu new scanning cycle module limb arm right found location Vavilov floor transmission obstructed data incomplete <sighs> What's the hold Two of up? them. Why can't we locate the module this time? I'm afraid Ooh. I can't help you. There's some kind of interference on this floor. Possible sources of interference include electromagnetic shielding or the presence of a large elongated object. Yeah, I a think I know what that is. Object. That sounds I think odd. I know what that is. It's my dick! Damn it. I just turned off two of them. Okay, and then same one here. Oh god, why? I don't like these. There we go. Those always, like, having limited rotational capabilities is always fucking with my head. Wow. There's a big honking thing in here. And lots of little fuckers. That should be enough. Hey, yo, I fucking shocked you. Doing that. No healing. Stay stunned, stay stunned. That missed. That's annoying. What am I supposed to do with this? The colossal Buras plunged the Buras, into the that, that's what it was called. Even as we speak, building tunnels, helping in the search for mineral deposits, and contributing to scientific progress. Uh, These machines have no counter. That's a crusty ass looking fucking world. stone. According to my data, oh. this exhibit is very popular with children of all ages. What do you think about the future of Soviet children, given the current pace of scientific progress, Major? That's a bit of a uh, mouthful there. Um, they're gonna have it easier than we did. They'll have more opportunities. 
Yeah, that's what I believe. It easier than we did. They'll have more opportunities. It's, it's a mix of one and two there. Fascinating. Do you more of one children? than two, nah, but I'm not even married. With a job like this, who's got the time? Indeed. Men like you are often married to their jobs. I can't even say mood because I can barely fucking stay in the relationship of the fucking job I currently have. Are you fucking serious? What is this, a kid's game? That is a puzzle key. Nice. What's it for? Kids. I it activates some sort of process. Are you fucking serious? They actually have Snake in this fucking game. I got it. Oh. Holy fuck, Charles. Oh no. Is that the process I just activated? Run. Where? Yes. Hey, what the hell are you doing, damn it? Uh, do not pull me in. Oh. Oh. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. You metal son of a bitch. You scared the ever-living fuck out of me. That was close. Well, whatever. I got the arm. This looks like the right one. Let's go find the rest. This game just turned up the fucking difficulty level like fucking 15 levels over because shit was easy before this. Shit is just fucking stressful. Don't fucking block and jump away from me. Oh, good lord, you've gotta be kidding me. What the? <laughs> Fucking hell. Is that my last heal? Oh my god, it is. No power. Vodka. Pop vodka. Drink vodka. Quick. Get power. Fuck shit up. Whew. I drank vodka. I got power. Therefore, vodka equals good for kids. Yeah. That is not true, though. Because, oh my god, I actually ran completely out of meds on that one. Charles, so after the whole beta connector idea was dead, they made the neuro connectors with discretionary authority? I'm afraid so. The power struggle in the Kremlin will never end. The party elite insisted on having power even within Collective. Well, they're our government, right? We're the USSR. Indeed we are. But Collective was designed to be for everyone on Earth, and the USSR is not the only country. We can't let capitalists and imperialists in Collective. That Why went through walls? Collective was designed as a worldwide union for equal human beings, where robots will do everything for them. Everyone will have the same opportunities. The capitalists won't like the sound of that. Unfortunately, no one in power will see equality as an appealing prospect. So to avoid being crushed by the Kremlin, Dr. Sechenov programmed discretionary authority into Collective. I see. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna die from this. Yep. Nope. I'm still alive somehow. 
Miraculously, I'm still alive. Yeah, okay. First arm's good. Wait, what do you mean first arm? It should be the only arm, right? Right? Oh dear lord, I have to get more shit. And I'm out of resources. Uh... Huh. Okay, I'm starting to understand why everybody died. That's not what I meant to do, game. But it did kind of help, so I'll take it. I would love to do that game. I would fucking love to do that. But you know what? I don't actually have the fucking meds to do that. So fuck you. Are you fucking serious? What is with this game? Heels, heels, no, okay, fuck me, I guess. Scanning the exhibition area. Module head found. Establishing coordinates. Assessing structural integrity. Head location. Chelemy. Shit, it's dark here. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh my god, no. Oh, this is not good. The last thing I need is fucking plastic and his fucking bland heads. Oh, dear lord. Oh, this ain't good. Run, run them over. How many fucking bodies are in here? Jesus! Oh my god, there's five of them here. Cut up a cut up a cut. I know it's really hard to see. And trust me, it is the same for me.
Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea how I survived that, but I'll fucking take it. I'll give him the fucking L. Yeah, if I had been any less observant, I would have died five times over. Does any of them have a fucking heal? At least some of them had some ammo. So that's something. right now. Oh my god, yes. Data. Access granted. Uh, d d stuff, yes, please give. Now. Holy fuck. Uh, yeah, we're bringing out the shotgun again. The Kalash, really damn good, but right now we need something with more ammo. And you know what? Yeah, the PM, get your ass back in here. Holy fuck. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need that because we're gonna be equipping a lot of fire based stuff. That's, that's damage to robots. Oh, uh, why is that there? Fuck it, more damage. I don't have that yet. More damage. Need medication for that, meds for that. Need a better magazine. Uh, what can we do for the, uh, Zvezdodja? Damn it, can't do anything. Okay, uh, consumables. Yes. All of the fucking health right now. Because we ran the fuck out so many times. Use the small one to heal. Real quick. Oh my god. Fucking Christ. So, I'm gonna take a quick break right there. Uh, I need to go and assemble my laundry. Not to mention, I need to, like, walk around for a little bit. That that part right there was fucking stressful. Uh, I'm gonna put on some music. Give you guys something to, like, kind of, like, just relax to. While I'm, uh, gone for a little sec. Holy shit, he splurged for a proper one. Anyway, uh, enjoy the music.
Alrighty. Still on a uh, small break. Because I still need to eat the food. So just just so I know that I like... I'll just do this as well, just to be sure. Just so I know that I have to turn on the green screen again. That's when I start recording. But yeah, when I made some food before going live, uh, I made I made enough to make like a little lunch box as well. Hmm. Ah. So how's everybody doing today? I'm having a ton of fun in this game. Like. It is unironically like fucking fun. Just reading on Twitter real quick, see uh see what we have to look forward to. Still alive? No. Martin still is. Holy shit, how long has it been going for then? 15 hours? Just watching Connor right now, Sea Dog VA. Four, 15 hours? Like, holy shit. I don't think I know when the last time I fucking streamed that long was. Like, it's gotta be like more than two years ago. Holy shit. He is like hyper focused. Holy shit. But yeah, just kind of trying to enjoy my food. Hmm. Nom. Shall we look on some fucking TikToks in the meantime? Yeah, no, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> this college student applied to 220. This Holy shit. Uh, what can we watch without me getting absolutely fucking destroyed? Saved up to watch, or... Ooh, I have a Blarg video. Then again, I've already seen that video from everybody else's perspective. Uh, don't feel comfortable watching uh, a reaction video as, like... As, like, for, like downtime stuff on stream. Hmm. Ayo, no shot. No shot, this is actually real. Where is, uh, there it is. No shot that they actually beat the lockpicking lawyer. 
is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today appears to be the most generic lock ever made. There is no writing on this plain white packaging or on the lock body. The only words visible are the words hardened on the shackle and lock on the key. Ironically, both of those are probably inaccurate. The key, of course, is not the lock, and I <laughs> highly doubt that shackle is hardened, or at least well hardened. Even more ironic, when I- Is that seriously what he's gonna be going on about? The fact that they try to outsmart? They try to outsmart him by making him think that this shackle is hardened when, when it's not, and that this is not the lock. Find flaws in this, I can't tell you what to avoid because I don't know who made this. So in a way, this lock company already beat me before the game even started. Fuck's sake. Even so, I'll show you what it takes to get this open. I'm going to use the padlock bypass I should have known. I should have known better companion. with this guy. I should have we'll known better. It into this unshielded keyway. Maneuver oh, into position. Oh, why? Give it a turn. And as you can see, it popped right open. Okay, folks, obviously this lock leaves much to be desired, but there's not much I can do about it because I don't know the company or the model. So, to the mystery company responsible for this, well played. You win this round. In any case, that's all I have for you. Lockpicking lawyer may have won the battle of the lock, but not the, but not the war of uh, calling out the company that made it. Master, master lock ex executive. Lockpicking lawyer keeps calling us out on our crappy security. What can we do? How about we stop putting our out, out na our name on the package? Brilliant! God. Uh, what else do we have? I really want to watch this, but I don't want to watch it on stream. I want to watch it on my own time. Fuck it, Hacksmith, let's, let's This go. is our most powerful Iron Man project ever. A 1.5 kilowatt fiber base. Is that actually possible? How do you even go about creating a highly complex mobile laser and cutter and welder and make it sick and stylish like an Iron Man tech? There is no way I've made something that does all that. Or did I? With this new laser tech, we are now one step closer to the real life Tony Stark. To this day, the most powerful self-contained laser that we can fit into an Iron Man gauntlet is still this 100 watt blue laser that we use in our Iron Man repulsor. At 100 watts, this thing is already terrifying. But I want more power! Just 10 years ago, a 1,000 watt laser would have cost you upwards of a quarter million dollars. If you could even get your hands on one. Nowadays, you can get a 1,500 watt fiber laser shipped to your door for just about $6,000. Let's just say we have that our fair share of cheap Giant industrial fiber powerful. laser cutter, Mopa laser engraver, laser resin 3D printer, a CO2 laser, nuke reality laser cutter, fiber laser welder, a laser etching machine, and a miniature CO2 laser. That's ridiculous. Our industrial laser cutter that you've seen us use on almost all of our projects uses a 1500 watt infrared laser similar to this. This thing is big, heavy, and fragile and it requires over 10,000 watts of input power, as well as a mini fridge sized water chiller to keep did itself that, cold. Did, did he but just say 10,000 watts? What would the math on that even be? Like you would need like, what? Like a thousand amps to a thousand volts? To even run that, no. No, that's way too that much. Like either 10 amps at a thousand volts, or like a thousand amps at like 10 volts. Probably 10 amps per 1,000 volts. That's how you calculate watt, right? How do you calculate watts? Uh, uh, fucking... Fuck's sake. To calculate wattage. Oh yeah, so it is just multiplication. It just is. So yeah, no, it would have to be like 10 amps to a to a thousand volts to get to that level. So that's how you get like a, like 10,000 amps. Cutting through half inch thick steel like butter. Unfortunately, because the thing is, right, amps is the is the den is basically the density of. Uh, I, I guess it's more of the volume 
of uh, of power. Meanwhile, Volt is this is the speed in which it gets fed. Basically, mass and uh, and velocity, I suppose. It's like how much versus how fast, and then combine that together, you get effect essentially. There's no way that I'm getting all of this mounted on my back. Bruh. But lasers like this come with a nice glass fiber optic cable to transmit the power. Which means if we had the right lenses, we could mount all of that onto my gauntlet and still use it from pretty far away. The initial plan was to use a cutting head from a fiber laser machine. But as you can tell, this thing on an Iron Man gauntlet would be a little oversized. But then we got our hands on this laser welder, which is way more compact and simpler to use. And in addition to welding, this can also cut through steel and remove rust. Through the welding and the rust removal, the laser actually moves back and forth using a tiny mirror on a galvanometer to actually point the laser in different directions. But if this thing's on my hand, I can just point the laser with my hand, which means I can actually remove this entire part. And since I've designed a custom fancier nozzle, we actually don't need that either. So what we're left with is simply our water-cooled collimating lens and our focusing lens. So I needed to create a piece to join the two together at the right distance and with perfect alignment. After a bit of prototyping, I came up with a design that we can manufacture in aluminum on our Tormach 1100 CNC machine. And this is our final piece, which actually sits right in between the collimating lens and the focusing lens to keep them in perfect alignment. This is the smallest one and a half thousand watt fiber optics lens assembly I've ever seen. And this is gonna be perfect you know, for Iron Man. It's kind of insane. I used to think that this text and ed edit was like impossible. No, it's stupid fucking easy. In Da Vinci, you have the you have the you have the main footage. You go into Fusion, place a tracking node, track what you want, create a text plus node, track that onto the green field uh, onto the green connector on the tracker, align it manually, and boom. Sometimes you may have to like go to the uh, to the center node to the center value, right click on the actual text itself, and then connect to the path after you've tracked it, of course. So, laser gauntlet. Let's see what I. Let's see if I can actually figure out what they actually decided to track on this. Focusing lens to keep them in perfect alignment. This, this is, is completely the editing. One and a half thousand mm -hmm. watt fiber optics lens assembly I've ever seen. Okay, so either it's just these nuts, like like these screws, because he he moves his finger at one point, so it's not the finger. It, I think it may be just they're just tracking this general label because this whole thing is pretty much like silver with that l like little bit of um of white tech of like white label so i think it's i think they probably just tracked the uh the screws and this is gonna be perfect for our iron man laser gauntlet the build of the gauntlet okay him covering that up actually threw that for a loop this is gonna be perfect for our iron Man laser gauntlet. Okay, now I'm actually confused. How did they do that? Cause he covers that up with his hand with his, with his hand. I've ever seen. And this is gonna be perfect for our Iron Man laser gauntlet. The build And then of course adjustment layer, blur blur transition with the swipe. One, two, three, four, five. Five second transition, really? I mean, five frame? They may have just tracked the orange tube. Perfect for our Iron Man laser gauntlet. The build of the gauntlet. Because that's the only thing that's constantly in eyesight, and it's also the most vibrant color on screen. Consists of 66 pieces that bend and weld together into five assemblies. Before we start making the entire gauntlet, we have to figure out the order of operations. We know we want to laser cut the pieces, we want to laser paint them. Wait, laser painting? When you get a piece of stainless hot enough, it forms a layer of oxide. And based on the thickness of the oxide, we actually reflect different colors. This right here is our Omtech MOPA laser. And basically what it can do is super precisely adjust the power, duration, speed, and frequency of our laser pulses to accurately control the temperature of the stainless, giving us any thickness of oxide we want, which means whatever color we want. And we want to laser weld them. But the Can problem is one. the laser engraver that we're going to use to paint our pieces doesn't really do great with non-flat objects. So I want to run the test and I want to figure out what surface finish and what order of operations is going to give us the cleanest color 
and the least amount of scratches after we're done bending all these pieces. So when we finish the entire thing, it doesn't have a huge amount of scratches and it looks really clean and really consistent. So we have the painted, then bent, bent, then painted, sandblasted, painted, then bent, and sandblasted, bent, and then painted. And I think out of the four, the one that looks the neatest is actually the very first one we did, which was painted and then bent. So these three don't make the cut, and I think this. I mean, if you use a rubber mallet, that, that pretty much just solves that problem right away. Because the rubber mallet isn't going to be hard enough to scratch the steel, or the stainless steel in this case. So I don't know why they decided on going on this like wild tangent on like trying to figure out what wouldn't scratch the metal. Rubber mallet. Or wood mallet. Or better yet, if you don't have a rubber mallet, steel like regular smithing hammer or hell, even a carpenter's hammer. Take a block of wood, because they're not exactly far from nature. Fucking just hammer on that piece of wood. What's the problem? Is our win. Maybe not like m maybe the majority of the bend would would scratch some, but you're gonna have some dents no matter what you do. Can you believe that this is all gonna become an Iron Man The TIG welder was needed in the early stages of connecting these thin metal pieces and getting each piece aligned. But from there on, it was full steam ahead on the laser welder. In true Stark Industries fashion, we're using lasers for everything. We are inside the laser cutter. That must have taken Terrible. weeks. Because, like, doing that shit doesn't take, like, That's five seconds. That thing ta that takes some time. First bend of the gauntlet. Another, like, 50 to go. Look at that. It doesn't seem like much right now. Once I'm done with it. I want to try one cool. of those laser welders. It's incredible how simple really laser cool. welding is. To do a weld like this requires tons of training for TIG welding. But this laser welder, it's like a whole glue gun. And I say yeah, that. But... To be fair, a laser welder isn't going to be nearly as penetrative, which I guess is the point here. It's just to fuse the things together, which is not the same as welding them together. When you fuse something, you're basically just gluing them together. When you're welding it, you're actually mixing the actual base material together. Sometimes you'll use some filler metal. It's the difference between a proper weld and a fused joint is whether or not you'll have additive material that that's literally like one of the few like differences between the two that is the quickest welding process i've ever learned it does also not introduce as much heat into the piece so you're not going to have as much warping which i guess is why they use laser welding on stainless steel more so than any anything else because stainless steel is very prone to warping really fucking quickly and it's ironically not even due to the fact that it gets hot, but rather the, the fact that it doesn't transfer the heat as quickly across the actual material. So by the time the, the heat has actually transferred across the, uh, the, the material, it will have cooled off and started contracting itself. Because as metal heats up, it expands all the molecules and all the particles. And then when it cools down, it starts squeezing together again, retracting. And when that happens in such a narrow area compared to, say, normal steel or, hell, iron, if you're that daring, you're going to have some severe warping. That's why stainless steel welding, while the actual process is easy, you have to think about what you're doing. You have to think about it because if you're, if you're not careful, shit will warp like a fucking pretzel. Have you ever dreamt of becoming a Viking hero? Sorry, Finger I don't care. Worth $200 90% of all the fucking mobile games legends. are trash. If it was hello fresh, then fine, but not a mobile game. Fuck that. I don't care. Feel pretty solid. It's going rough. <laughs> gotta turn on the ventilation, gotta go turn on the air, gotta go get my gloves, my glasses. Oh, this bucket is terrible. <laughs> I have those kind of, glasses, kind of gloves. And everything moves. That was my backup piece. Where the heck are my damn nozzles? Why? Why, laser? Why you just... Oh, because you have poor contact. No. Well, burn myself. Well, yeah, you're fucking fusing shit. Bruh. 
This guy is hired at Hacksmith Industries. And he keeps forgetting, oh, things are hot when they're welded. And when they're fused. No shit. Yep. Nope, that's just human flesh. Silly lasers. Our previous gauntlets looked straight out of Iron Man, but to put them on and use them was so uncomfortable. With this revision, I changed that by sewing in a Kevlar glove that holds both the chainmail glove and the air cuff together. So theoretically, it'll all be one piece and be super easy to slide my hand in, give this some air, and it'll hold onto my hand nice and tight. Smart. As long as it doesn't like squish together the fucking veins. This is not going according to plan. Yeah, no, that looks... The shape of this being so like wavy. Well, the problem is the laser engraver that we're gonna use to paint our pieces doesn't really do great with non-flat objects. Gloves also not coming together as well as I'd hope, so. They have a kitchen? Uh, obviously we've had to do in order to join up Damn. some pieces, we've had to weld and grind some areas where the surface is like very inconsistent. It's very hard to get it perfectly flat into the focus on the same spot. Yeah, that's the issue of doing any curved surface because the focus it's really important with the color. Yeah. Physically, I'd say this looks way better than the last ones. Exactly. It was a cool try. Like, the, the laser works great for painting flat things. But painted properly, I think this will look really legitimate. So, other things. So these fingers, same thing with them. Even when it did weld, it would just like have pieces of wire sticking in. Mm -hmm. And it, it was just so like... Can you even get your finger in there right it? now? No. Oh, even my broken finger has more, more flex. <laughs> than... <laughs> yeah. That's my other finger. Yeah. Why don't we give a really small... That, that's a whole story in of itself, that broken finger. Small stainless steel flathead screw. And then that way you can push it through the chain mail, through one of the links. I'm trying to think. There's like... There's some kind of like joint you can create... Like you, you can utilize that like... Like as you're flexing your fingers forward and this whole bit of skin like, you know, gets stretched out. Um... There should be some kind of like joint that like you're supposed to be able to use to like basically overcome this stretch of the area like on the finger because because their problem right now is because of the because of the gauntlets like the fingers of the gauntlets design they can't really close it all that much because the metal gets in contact with each other normally you'd solve this by making the pieces shorter in length length so that they have the flexibility to t to twist and turn this on the other hand causes problems of vulnerable joint spare spots. Now, as this is an Iron Man glove and not a glove for a fucking knight, I don't see why they would not just have an open gap instead. Because in this day and age, even if there's a not a joint there, you're still gonna take massive damage from a fucking bullet. So you may as well have the flexibility and usefulness of your fi of your digits. Especially if you're gonna be using like finger motions, which I am totally guessing here they're absolutely going to be using like like hand gestures to like activate the things. And then it could stick through the slot or change this so it's a hole. Okay. And then that way, really you just need to tack weld that screw in place and that will hold everything there. It's weird. Normally like, I'd say one, use springs, but if easy. a spring breaks in there, that thing can like ricochet in there. Severely hurt Almost two hand. weeks of his time painting all of these individual pieces. It's gonna be very upset when I tell them we're gonna get rid of this entire finish. What that do we say when we weeks. fall down? Man. Ooh. Is that an Iron Man quote? No, no, it's a Bruce Wayne, uh, an Alfred quote. That's like 80 hours we're not of getting work. back up. Bare minimum. It's pretty logical. <laughs> Considering these are YouTubers, are you going to tell more like else? 120. Hang on, I need to find this quote. I think we're gonna take a break with uh, the laser painting. I think we're gonna sandblast this whole thing. I think we're gonna get rid of this finish and then just go with traditional. Yeah. Paint. Let's go. <laughs> I know you put a lot of heart into this. I understand. It does look messed up. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd be reacting the same way. Like, yeah. it's never yeah. fun for that right. to happen. I'll do this in Sad day. Yeah. Sad times. Sad times. Sad times. Did you find the quote, James? Yes. The quote was. Why do we fall? So that we can get back up. So we can learn to pick ourselves up again. Oh, that's right. That's right, Bob. Pick yourself up. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 I'm going to pass out. Okay. It is nice to see that James is, like, actually, like, able to have fun on set again. Because uh, 
if you know Hacksmith Industries lore at this point, you may or may not be aware that uh, James was in a mental rough spot for a while. So it's actually really nice to see him like have fun. So we can learn to pick ourselves up. <laughs> There's still rope in here. Why is there rope in there? That's what I was using to hold a finger open. Well, that was. Whoa, so that's that's why you couldn't fit your finger in it, Bogdan? No, you still can't fit your finger in it. That was a Dr. What, Pimple Dad? Popper. Oh, thing, you right? could! We, we ruined everything. No, you still oh, okay. <laughs> It's a little bendier now. Red Bull with extra Kevlar bits. Uh -huh. Did you sprinkle Kevlar in my Red Bull? <laughs> Just in <laughs> Yeah, maybe we shouldn't sell a gross stainless steel unfinished finger. We'll, we'll, we'll cast it in epoxy and it'll be a block. So. <laughs> what do you think, Biden? Like 50 bucks? Okay, that's like $8, not even like $5. Yeah, but it's a collectible. It's a one of a kind, Biden. $100. It's gotta be less than the mini safe. $35. $700. Someone can make that themselves. $500. $40. Okay, that's more Me giving my prices to Laura. Yeah, we'll just let Jose figure it out. Yeah, I think that's fair. Me giving my prices to Laura for the video. After hours of adjustments, connecting the fingers, painting, and setting up the electronics. <laughs> Mood. Which, by the way, you can view the full schematic diagram using the maker.io link below. We finally finished the laser gun. Bogdan, excited, nervous? <sighs> I'm nervous. We got a little bit of a leak. You can see there's, I think one of the hoses is a little loose but it's not too major right now, so uh, I think this will work for this test. This is the most powerful tight. Iron Man laser we've ever built, and I cannot wait to see what it can do. Let's get straight into it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I definitely would've put that thing on like a uh, mannequin first. That was so fast. In case that thing fucking explodes. We're moving on to a mannequin head. Laser's on, meet your maker. That thing went straight Woo! through the matter of seconds. There's a hole oh, straight phone. through that Vatican head. Wait a minute. Why what? is it painted black? Oh. There's a limitation on reflection, isn't there? Because they've used styrofoam heads before. But they've been white. Like regular styrofoam heads. They're normally not black. I think, they're ha I think they had tried to use regular... Um, styrofoam heads but they realized that the that the brightness of the white styrofoam reflected the laser too much look at that <laughs> we saw what this can do to one mannequin head but what if you're fighting an entire army never mind i take that back that raises the that question that's pretty warm oh, you see the beam that is toasty i think we're through <laughs> that was awesome the amount of heat that that came off of that helmet with all this oxygen? Uh, yeah, you may want to open a fucking window, because molten styrofoam is extremely toxic. This is coming from someone who deals with this kind of stuff on a, on a workly, daily basis. Do not do this in an unventilated environment. Do this outside, or, in, or at the very least in an extremely well-ventilated area. Do not do what they're doing. They're professionals, but they're also dumbasses. Ridiculous. Look at how look at how misty it is in there. That's toxic fumes. You do not want to breathe that shit in. I think they started burning the door over here, Bogdan. Yeah, I think the door is smoking a little bit. Oh, right. I went straight through them and all the way to there. Done. So compared to the previous lasers we've done, it takes a little bit longer to get going because it's an infrared laser. But as soon as the material becomes a little bit charred, the whole thing just melts instantly. Well, that's probably because as it's getting charred, the coloration of it becomes black. Therefore, it's not going to reflect as much light anymore. So it's just going to be concentrating all that energy into that same spot, increasing the heat exponentially. I feel better, Mike. Well, it's a little scary. That thing's got a lot of power. You saw the range that it fired at. I mean, he, he went right through. Yeah, that's all like three five heads, meters, bare minimum. And it started burning the door like 10 feet behind it. The thing's scary. Yeah. It's awesome. It's scary. And morons keep wondering why they have like, like made lasers illegal. Like regular, like red lasers. This is the reason why. If you can burn someone's fucking eyeball out, like thousands of feet in the air, 
No. Okay. Logan, thoughts? You're fun to be down. This thing, uh... It's a little scary, Daryl. Oh, it's that fucking terrifying. That laser is kind of like the bad boy that you should be worried about, you know what I mean? Be worried like... about or be inspired to be. <laughs> it's just a... It's just how quickly it goes. Oh! That's awesome! Jesus. Here's the right way to light a candle using a Hacksmith mini saber. Easy, but I don't think it's overkill enough. Oh, look at the little smoke ring. You guys are finding like the weirdest stuff for me to burn. But uh, I guess this is how Wait, you do an, an avocado? avocado. No, it's an avocado plushie. Oh, not the avocado! Precision! I, I, I should have picked it before it started raining, and now it's now it's not lighting. And... You know, Mike, my, my, I got this. It's okay. It's okay. Sure? I got this. Oh, don't worry. About Sorry, it. man. Oh, uh, yes. Let, let me bring out my iron gauntlet to the, to the, local, to the local campfire. That's the kind of camping I like. Mike, why are you bad at making fire? I don't know, man. It looks classic. He lit it in two seconds. Our Hacksmith shop coats are fire resistant. Are they but are laser? they laser resistant? I was about to say that. No, they're not. They are not laser resistant. What about some of our other Hacksmith products? Like our safety glasses or our stone paper notebook? Uh, I don't think the laser the glasses are now. No. Oops, that's why I'm wearing these. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the shop girl looks pretty unarmed, honestly. This thing is scary, but if you need to protect yourself against Iron Man, this might be a good choice. <laughs> Light him up! Oh. Woo. Yeah, um. That could have gone Woo. really fucking badly. That's toasty. Iron Man was here. But can it weld? I am totally melting this right now. Not as good as my TIG skills, but that is a solid weld. I mean, I'm not trying to considering that's without shielding gases? Actually, no, without shielding... Okay. Again, I'm nerding out like fucking crazy right here, but um, let's go back to this real quick. So, what you're seeing here is the oxidization in stainless steel. Because there's no shielding gas to prevent oxygen in the air from getting inside of the molten stainless steel pool of liquid metal, it is combining with the oxygen, burning 10 to 15 times faster, and just singes itself. It's literally cooking so hot, it's burnt. This is burnt steel. I think you need to realize just how hot that shit gets then. Because when something's burnt, that basically means that all the carbon is getting inflamed. The carbon mo molecules is are just gone. Resulting in an extremely porous material. This is the reason why you need shielding gas on not just the exterior side, this, the side that you're welding on, but also on the root side where you're not welding. Because if you have full-on penetration and that and that interior has oxygen in it, that shit is just gonna get por porous as fuck. Porous, not porous. What is porous? Why did why did I think that was a word? And because this is just basically a laser, just directing a ton of heat, there's no shielding gas to cover to cover this. The reason why he was able to even create a fused joint like this is because without without the shielding gas in the air, the oxygen in the air um, just penetrates into the into that molten pool, making it even hotter, thus allowing it to get fused together. That's the only reason. If he had shielding gas on that, he wouldn't barely even like heat up the material because a laser only outputs so much heat. 
The only reason why we have laser welding is because that's an extremely high-powered laser. And that one utilizes a very, very controlled system. Normal TIG welding is far less controlled in that you still need a like, ton of gas just to even do the process properly. But also, it's also meant, TIG, TIG welding is also like more flexible in the fact that you can get very clean welds, very, way stronger welds. You can, I think you can weld up until like 10, 15 millimeters of steel before you just reach the end point of the capabilities of TIG welding. And even then, you have to put up so many amps, it just does not become worthwhile. At that point, you may as well just go stick welding. Or, or uh, flux core MIG welding. What's going on on Discord? I'm gonna try to pop a hole through this from here. I think we're through. Oh yeah, we're through. Okay, you wanna do some rust removal? I mean, removal? that's just... Mm, this is core 10 steel, I think. Look at that. Perfectly clean piece of metal. No more rust. We've got a variety of- I mean, you're just shaving off this this surface level. ...items that we stole from our co-workers' desks to help test stuff. And we've got it set up on a couple of different sizes of rope and metal chain. Let's see what it can do. I think it's gonna have some problems with the chains. What a problem! I mean, paracord is meant to be cut. Nice. Next up, we got some metal chain and metal cable. Oh. See, oh. a little bit of issue already. Are you gonna cut it? And this is like the, the least. Yes! I think that was that just was the weight the pulling the, the liquid metal So apart. now we have the short focus lens and the high pressure oxygen nozzle to be able to cut through metal. Let's do this. Nice. Very impressive, actually. Very impressive. No problem. Should I, should I pop this? No, not the Red Bull can. Look at that. Look how well that cuts. I mean, it's thin gauge ah! fucking aluminum. Shit melts faster than Thicker dominance. metal cable. Now see, that is fucking impressive. <laughs> this thing is so weak! That is terrifying! <laughs> I just lit a metal cable on fire! Wait, never mind. No, he didn't actually light it on fire. Uh, metal cables are actually just stained, like, just regular steel cables. I think it's just soaked in oils to keep it from rusting. Because I feel, I think that the sheer amount of stainless steel you would need to just make these, like, braided cables like this would cost insurmountable amounts of money to, like, have enough. Because typically you just use these kind of cables, like, out in, like, very humid environments. Like, ship docks and whatnot. So I don't think they would use stainless steel for that. Maybe, depending on how important it is. The thickest metal chain we have. Yeah, it's just cutting straight through it. And yeah, it's, it's like wobbling a bit, but that's to be expected. It's essentially pushing superheated gas, like superheated oxygen, out at really hot temperatures really fast. So it's Perfect. pushing against the steel, We managed to cut everything to from two millimeter rope all the way to one inch thick rope and even three sixteenth inch steel chain. I would not have touched that if I was in. This is a metal door that I am going to cut through. Okay, so they did actually show it was stainless steel. I mean, Look stainless at this. Steel. It's steel literally steel. cutting straight through that door. The door is in on fire on the inside. This literally feels like Iron Man. Look at that. That just a piece of spaceship. So it's we cut very through a much possible. inch steel door, but what about eighth inch steel plate? Eight inch. There's molten steel flying everywhere. Holy crap, this is basically like the lightsaber all over again. 
Except this time I'm Iron Man. Wow. I just got a piece of metal in my mouth. That is eight is big that? steel plate. One eighth inch. How much is that? Look at that. That's so. I want to say like two to this three thing millimeters. Can burn. This thing can engrave. Wait, hold on. We had a good look at that. Look at that. That's. It's hard so to odd. see. This. They're not really focusing in on it properly. But yeah, no, that's like easily three millimeters thick. I can tell. That's really fucking impressive. Like that that's really impressive for something that's like handheld, like like well, I guess arm held. Burn, this thing can engrave, this thing can cut through steel. And there you have it, a fifteen hundred watt Iron Man laser gauntlet. If you like this video The thing is as well, a lot of people are probably gonna look at this and say, Well, why don't you just use a normal plasma cutter? The thing is, right, a plasma cutter handle uh, like takes up your hand. Like you have to hold it with your hand. So, if you need to do something else with the same hand, you can't. So, what this also allows you to do is, you can also utilize the gauntlet as your grounding material. Because that's how you weld underwater at, like, oil, oil, oil rigs in the, uh, in the deep ocean. You basically have a gaunt, like a glove that's a, just a grounding clamp. Put your hand literally on the material that you're welding... And then you stick weld that shit with specially made, um, specially coated uh, stick welds. So the fact that they were able to make this out of a fucking laser welder is actually impressive as hell. Video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys, and thank you for making this. So what this allows you to do is just basically hold whatever the hell you need to hold on to in your hand. Like, just... The flexibility is just insane. Now, of course, it's going to take some training to, like, be accurate and, like, st like stable with it. But that's really fucking impressive. It's real. That probably took them, like, at least two months to make, though. Sure, check out Hacks with Dots. thousands of dollars. Like, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Store? And I'll see you in the next video. Because just the machine itself is probably, like, four grand easily. Like, four grand then the material to make the actual gauntlet, probably a grand, maybe two, depending on how much they actually used up. Because uh, stainless steel is not cheap, especially not these days. The actual equipment to actually run the damn thing, like a like a compressor and the amperage needed, like he said, what, 10,000 amp, like 10,000 watts? You need to be able to output 10,000 volt, like a thousand volts times 10 amps to even be able to run the damn thing. So this thing, this thing is pro just going to cost you more and more in the long run. So, is it practical? No. Is it cool as fuck? Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> I'm thoroughly impressed by this. That's really fucking impressive. Uh, we're going to get, we're going to get back now to, uh, to Atomic Heart, though. Gonna be playing it for a couple of more hours. Uh, keyed on. Just want to be sure that we have enough lighting there. And after quite a bit, um, took a bit of a detour. We are finally back with more. Uh, oh, I forgot. There we go. And we is back. Fading data. We were looking for... Right, the various pieces of uh, Claire. Yeah, we fucking got it. Okay, this little gun. I heard you. All oh, right, my sensitivity is weird. 
No, this is the sensitivity I've been using. Uh, you don't have a thought device, no. Another Schrodinger box. Crispy fucking. Where's the shit ass way out of here? Underground or something? That line was just unnecessarily vulgar. All right, here we go. Well, shit, that's morbid. Oh, that's the end. <clears throat> Fuck me. Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. It is located on the second story of this venue. So where's the entrance? Unfortunately, <clears throat> I do not have little... this Fucker. information. Everything's got mixed up after the malfunction. No shit, Sherlock. Have you considered powering the beluga? How is that supposed to help? I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Well, I guess it can't hurt to try. It's not like we've got a lot of other options. Tereshkova, where's the power room around here? At the very top. Fantastic. So we're cut off. Just what I always wanted. Holy shit. Too many, too many, too many. Fucking Christ, I couldn't move! <clears throat> That's gonna be a lot of people. Okay. Really? I have to do this all over again? There we go. Okay. I think that was it. What kind of guns do we have actually? Oh, the shotgun as well. Right. Crispy fucking. Where's the shit ass way out of here? Underground or something? Fading data. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just give me the shit. <clears throat> Fuck me. Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. It is located on the second story of this venue. So where's the entrance? Unfortunately, I do not have this information. Everything's got mixed up after the malfunction. No shit, Sherlock. Have you considered powering the beluga? How is that supposed to help? I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Well, I guess it can't hurt to try. It's not like we've got a lot of other options. Tereshkova, where's the power room around here? At the very top. Fantastic. So we're cut off. Just what I always wanted. Reload. Why the fuck are you fighting me? I thought you were non-hostile. Let's 
see what you got. Lights out! There we go. What the fuck? I... Like, I can't move! If there's one thing in this game combat-wise that just fucking blows, it's the goddamn terrain. Oh my god. That should not have been as much of a pain in the ass as it was. Because my fucking god. That was a pain in the ass. So what the fuck is this doing? Almost. Almost. I mean, I just fucking realized it's a literal vagina. <laughs> okay, that's where I'm supposed to go. Now, there was a dude I could talk to. Well, a, a corpse. Yes. Did you want something? Uh... Were you on the Were tour? You on the tour? Does it matter? No. Maybe. Yes. Certainly. But it no longer matters. I dislike this vague, jelly-like state of mind. And do not wish to prolong this mental agony with pointless communication. The mental agony of pointless communication. <laughs> Charles, how did this comrade know you and I have been talking? Such sparkling <laughs> wit and biting humor, comrade major. I find myself... In the uncomfortable situation, not entirely unlike a long wait before a parting or a long journey that nobody is eager to take, but needs to, or is forced to. That's a gloomy philosophy you got there. I've got nothing to add. Well, I thought I'd end him quicker. So... Okay, we have a lock right here. Let's see. I hear somebody like grunting. Oh, that was just a lock for that. Okay. Oh, it's the music upstairs. So, what was wrong with the real beta connectors? Since Collective was originally planned without any discretionary authority, everyone in it was supposed to be equal. Yeah, we already talked about that. Then why'd they need the beta connectors? To secure Collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might wish to control it. That's impossible. Everybody's equal in Collective. Shit. The Alpha Connector. Indeed. Intruders or an opposition force among equals could try to obtain the Alpha Connector. This could lead to human casualties, which would be unacceptable. So how could beta connectors stop this from happening? They didn't give their carriers any discretionary authority, but they did allow them to be present within Collective without being a part of it. In other words, they had total autonomy while retaining access to the information network. So what? That's basically what we have right now. You're seeing this from a human perspective. What other kind of perspective could I... Oh, crap. The boss wanted to put beta rings on some robots so no one else in Collective could control them. Indeed they are. 
At first, Dr. Sechenov planned to order his loyal twins to guard the Alpha Connector. While logged into Collective, he could control them from anywhere on Earth. At the same time, no one else would be able to give them orders. They wouldn't even know that they exist. Hold on, Charles. <laughs> I don't quite get it. Would it be possible to launch Collective with everybody equal, then destroy the Alpha Connector? Certainly. But that begs another question. Who would choose to do that? Dr. Sechenov. Are you sure about that, comrade? Yeah, are you sure yeah. about that? I mean, I guess. No. Because I'm starting to see what this whole, what this, what this glove is trying to tell me. They're basically trying to emphasize the point of the Alpha Connector is the fucking government. As soon as everybody's equal, that's supposed to go away, right? Right? But is that actually going to happen? Fat fucking no. Because let's be honest, once you get some power... It's gonna be real hard to separate from that power. Real fucking hard. And let's be fucking honest. No one's gonna want to get rid of power of the entire human race. Bar none. So where's the very top? Where that thing came from? Can I get into this? Ooh. Oh. Did that thing, like, see me? Ow. Uh. Oh my god! I literally can't do anything. I literally can't do anything. Give me the loot. There you are. Also, I don't think there's actually like an oxygen system in this game. So there's like no choking out or anything like that. Oh. Oh, that's down there. Anything else we can get down here before we go up? Oh. Yeah, right there. Some loot. God, don't tell me that all this polymer is actually just like human people dissolved. Because that is fucking disturbing. Somebody could easily be shooting me down right about now. Are they going to? Hopefully, fucking not. Did they- oh, it's the hole. I was like, did they just face through the fucking planet?
How about you stop? Couple of headshots. Nice. Oh yeah, all the loot. Let's see, what does that do? It did something. And that seems to have been it. Why is this hole open? Seems like a massive safety issue if you ask me. So that's where I need to go. What's down here then? No. Fuck you. And everything your goddamn arm shield stands for. Nice, a gauss cannon. Or a railgun. That works too. <laughs> I can't make that gap, can I? I don't want to risk it. Okay. And jump! This is a bucket. This is a bucket. Well, at the very least, we're back outside again. This is where the power comes from. Are you sure? Definitely. How? Because this place has my favorite thing in the whole fucking world. A relay. Really? I thought you were more partial to canisters. Oh, come on. What does that even mean? Uh, you. I'm dumb, endlessly stupid. I died because of my stupidity. If somebody buries me, put these words on my tombstone. Uh... What happened? I tried to run. But I didn't know how to rotate these things on the floor, so I failed. I could have opened the passage. It's a security relay. Looks simple enough. But I panicked and did something stupid. And then, wham! Blood everywhere. There was pain, and that was it. Yeah, you gotta adjust them by color. Well, shit happens. It's not your fault. I'll tell the tour guide you're, uh, here, still. Are you serious? I thought it was like, oh, this thing is booby-trapped or something. Okay, so... That one needs to be there. You need to be over here. And then you... Need to be over here. No. Huh. Is it like this? Ah. Got it. Roly polies and everything around it. Damn it, I can't pick that up. Okay, how many people are here? One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Oh fuck, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Uh huh. What? 
Fuck sakes. Damn, it's one of these guys. I thought it was a normal Nova. My shield is better. It's Swedish. Better up. There we go, bloody. Oh my god. There we go. You're dead now. <sighs> now, I should probably be going back to the hall, but fuck it. Loot. Oh, you've got to be fucking shitting me. Come on, batter up. Oh, fuck me. Fuck your kneecaps. Okay. Note to self. Facing off against a fucking... One, like, yes. I actually lost the name for them. Words are difficult, okay? I'm only a streamer. I can only do so much. Come on. More stuff. There we go. Uh, there's a crafting station and Charles, safe station here. You think Velatova was in cahoots with Petrov because of more than just love, right? What makes you so sure? I should note that Larissa Velatova is an accomplished and talented scientist. She independently completed a project that most of the world's greatest scientific minds could not have accomplished. What's your point? She is far from stupid and would never blindly follow orders without serious justification, no matter who might be giving them. Are you trying to say that good people are turning on the boss and he's getting rid of them? <laughs> so Petrov's actually a nice guy? People whom the motherland has given everything must have serious reasons for betraying her. But the bloody path Petrov has chosen is unacceptable. A capitalist collaborator. Fuck him. I could not agree more. Not necessarily capitalist collaborator. I think he's just found out what what uh, Sitchev is planning. I think that's all. Uh, store, store. Uh, store. Absolutely store, because holy crap, we've been needing that. Uh, a lot of shotgun shells. I need to start using them, I, th I feel. And to make that more compliant... I still need the, uh, the thing. Let's get it. Yeah, sure. I'm facing off against more... Uh, more robots nowadays anyway. How much am I needing? Six. Fuck, I'll, I'll fucking disassemble something. I don't care. Uh, I already got a stack of them. Shotgun, barrel, upgrade. So, oh shit, decreases some stuff as well.
Uh, handle, we're still lacking three chemis chemicals. What can we disassemble? This dynamo. Pretty damn perfect, if you ask me. Because this shotgun has been an absolute delight. Now, we're gonna need fifth, uh, ten chemicals. Uh... Ten superconductors. And we got enough synthetic shit. I was about to say three? I have a feeling I shouldn't be exploring outside all that much. Past this point. Uh Let's save real quick. Just in case. Fading data. Oh, loot inside of the shed. Nice. Oh, inside of the truck. Well, at the very least, we unlocked the way to keep going. Ayo. Guess that's one way to do it. Ayo, hey, we could do that underwater? Oh, because he's in water, the electricity just kills him instantly. Cool. Annoying. Down we go. Why has everybody respawned? Then again, I now have the power of fucking Zeus at my side. I shot him like 15 times! How many fucking shotgun blasts are you gonna be taking? Like, fucking hell! I killed the first ostrich in like one shot! Hey, Zerander. Honestly, right now, it's just inconsistent damage, really. Yeah, I still have no idea why the fuck that attack goes through walls. Uh, 
No, god damn it, I didn't mean to do that. I hate the fact that that shit goes through the walls. bought Dead Island 2. I want to play that, but I'm currently really fucking busy with all the other fucking games right now. I got Atomic Heart to get through. I got One Piece Odyssey tomorrow. Next weekend, I have Jedi Survivors to get started on once that game drops. There's just so much, so many games right now on my schedule. I may have to ditch Dead Island 2, not gonna lie. Because I want to, mind you. I've been waiting for this game for the past, like, fucking seven years. Since that first, like, like cinematic trailer came out. I hate these things. They never die. I know for a fact I'm striking the goddamn thing, but it's not hitting. Okay. Okay. Let's get in here. Save. Data. I'm gonna be so, swapping uh, be weapons. Because, uh, yeah, I do not have enough ammo for that. I'll take the stack of 90. Turn over the stack of 20 there. Okay. I do have a couple of smalls. Wait, what? Oh, I need to go to the second floor. Well, how the fuck do I get up there? The door? Yeah, I still don't know. Huh. There's gotta be a way up there. Through here? No. It's just pointing upstairs. Like, it's not saying how to get there. Hmm. Am I fucking stupid? Because, like, that door is locked. And I literally don't see any other door. Can I climb on this? No. Can I climb this? No. This elevator just leads me straight up to the surface. I don't see a ventilation hole. I am actually completely fucking confused right now. Let's see if this thing helps. Okay. Well, why didn't that do that before? Why didn't that do that before? It literally didn't do that before. That was literally the fifth time I did that. 
I mean, I still don't know how to actually climb up this damn thing. Because it doesn't fucking want to work. So that did fuck all. The Beluga is the world's fastest multi-purpose submersible vehicle. It so what happens if I use it again? Per hour Nothing. And is able to carry out civilian so what the fuck did that do? Down to 3,000 meters. We've learned more about the ocean floor over the last few years than we had during the previous century. I don't fucking care. I don't actually care. Like, look at this. I'm jumping and I got, and I got, now I don't get, st what the fuck is the parkour in this game? Okay, one, I was trying to jump up the nose of that, but apparently that was too much. I just needed to walk up it. Second, I used that console four times prior to that event, and it did fuck all. So how the fuck am I supposed to know that, oh, now all of a sudden it's just gonna shift the whole fucking thing? Like, that made literally zero sense. Right. What do we have here? Tereshkova, do you copy? Yes, dear comrade. Fucking the Christ. communication is restored. So, where's that head of yours? My head is where it's supposed to be. But Claire's head should be somewhere on your floor. Like I said earlier, something is crushing it with terrible force. Like a migraine. Like an excavator. Like an entire mountain. Or... I get it. I really do. All your whining is giving me a migraine too. I'll go look for it. Or maybe a floating city mon uh, replica. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a maze for kids. Huh? This will be a cakewalk. Oh. Wait. Where is this supposed to go? Jumpy little thing, ain't ya? So what? Where? Oh, okay, I see, I see it. Okay. God damn it. Oh, okay, I, I see, I see the destination. How do I rotate you, huh? Is that in? Hey, I think I get it. This is the most over-the-top, like, gravity puzzle I've ever fucking done. Kind of love it. Come on. Get loose. Get loose. Get low. Get low. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, now I gotta be careful, because, uh, I need to shift it down towards the center. And then... A little bit forward, and then down. Back, back. Not too much, though. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Yes! Richard? It just took a... Yeah! Gotcha! Nice! Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's the fucking head. Yeah. On a bed of shingle, legs raised like some old whore, far gone in passion. The burning, deadly poison sweat. Uh, opened its paunch and carried something over there. Ballooned with evil gaps. On this putrid sense, oh god, Claire is a philosopher. To a turn with eager care. Why is that camera looking so weird? What she had mingled there, the sky. As on the opening of a flower, on the superb obscenity smile bright. The stench drove at us with such fearsome power. You thought you'd swoon outright. Flies trumpeted upon the rotten belly. Whence larvae poured in legions far and wide and flowed like molten and liquescent jelly. Down living rags oh. high. Oh, I have to jump across to get to that, okay. Related, rolled itself on and crackled as if frying. <clears throat> You think the corpse by anything on here drew life from multiplying through the strange world a rustling rumor ran like a rushing water or a gust of air or grain of bitterness is the pride of the city oh. simmering here in the 
was made of white men placed in 1930. It became the foundation of a city called Chalamet, named in honor of the forgotten canvas which the painter took from Mumma. I'm just making sure. Okay, we have a safe state right here. Let's use that. And we'll go back and get get Claire's head. What was that? No one noticed. I did. Strict chat did. Everybody did. Yes, found the head. We got to keep moving. Charles, any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure, but definitely not much. Gotcha. All right. Let's get across. Let's Charles. get. So after Dr. Sechenov created the new gamma connectors, he destroyed the old beta connectors, right? Officially, yes. But only the technology used to manufacture the beta connectors was destroyed. So, no. The experimental rings were simply removed from all records and declared recycled. Why go to all that trouble? He didn't want to destroy the fruits of his painstaking labor. Dr. Sechenov simply kept them as souvenirs. So where are they now? They were somewhere in the Sechenov Science Center here at Facility 3826. But they apparently disappeared after the malfunction began. Apparently. You see what's going on here, don't you? No one knows anything for sure right now. The rings could be on a lab bench somewhere, or destroyed by rampaging robots. There won't be any need for them in Collective. Dr. Sechenov and his scientists will be able to solve any problem without him. I couldn't agree more. Okay. Uh, polymer upgrades for Charles. Let's see. Uh, Jesus Christ, we have so much. Uh. Oof. I have no idea what this does. Not gonna lie. Hello there. I have no idea what that means. Well, welcome to the stream. Upgrades. Uh, can we upgrade you anymore? Oh, we do actually have. Oh, right, we did get the uh, ergonomic handle. Uh, we need one more chemical. That would be fucking good. Can we disassemble something to uh, get us that one chemical? I don't want to get rid of the fat man bombs. Yeah, we don't need that much vodka. I mean, I'm here alone. I don't speak Spanish? I don't know what language that is. I think it's Spanish. Uh... Please keep it to English. Because I have no idea what you're saying. Well, 
Welcome on in, either way. Oh my god, so many. Why did everyone and their motherfucker just show up? Okay, okay. Uh... Load. I only have this one. I did not see him use the laser attack. Fuck. So after Dr. Sechenov created the new Gamma Connectors, he destroyed the old Beta Connectors, right? Officially, yes. But only the technology used to manufacture the Beta Connectors was destroyed. The pair of experimental rings were simply removed from all records and declared recycled. Why go to all that trouble? He didn't want to destroy the fruits of his painstaking labor. Dr. Sechenov simply kept them as souvenirs. Well, welcome Senior on in, Gabriel. They were somewhere in the Sechenov Science Center here at Facility 3826. Fuck. And they apparently disappeared. New scanning cycle. Module. Limb. Arm. Left. But I already have the one. There was a right arm that I had. Uh, could you be a little more specific? Ew, this is terrible. It plunged into something warm and sticky. Oh my, it is red polymer. Please don't shoot. Oh no, 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 no. I am sorry, dear comrades. This is the only data I have available. I hope I managed to help you. What about you. this? You sure did. Oh my god, I can't even... Fuck sakes. Okay, uh, I gotta deal with them one by one. I had no idea there was gonna be a lock right there. So after Dr. Sechenov created the new Gamma Connectors, he destroyed the old Beta Connectors, right? Officially, yes. But only the technology used to manufacture the Beta Connectors was destroyed. The pair of experimental rings were simply removed from all records and declared recycled. Why go to all that trouble? He didn't want to destroy the fruits of his painstaking. Oh, uh, why does it have Dr. to say the same line over and over again? Souvenirs. So where are they now? They were somewhere in the Sechenov Science Center here at Facility 3826. But they apparently disappeared after the malfunction began. Apparently. You see what's going on here, don't you? No one knows anything for sure right now. The rings could Close be on the lab bench somewhere, or destroyed by rampaging robots. Reload, 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 reload. Dr. Sechenov okay. needs to be able to solve any problem without him. I couldn't agree more. You're dead. Bro, I really missed that. Come to Papa. Uh, no. English and Swedish is the only, are the only languages I speak. Sorry. Yeah, take it easy. Oh. How the hell did that? You know what? I'll take it. He did. Wait, did he die? Die? Nope. He did not. And now he did. Okay. Right here. Installing the head. Double two seven. Nine, nine, one, zero, zero. Oh. Hey, rise and shine. Good morning to you. Thank you, dear comrade. 
Please be careful. There are aggressive robots everywhere. Yeah, I know. Oh, you don't mean. What did you do to get dismembered? I tried to rescue the living personnel of the exhibition complex. Monstrous atrocities are being committed here. Robots are killing people. This is unthinkable. How did you manage to survive, dear comrade? No time to explain. We need to activate military drill mode. Okay. Oh, I need the final piece, right. Need to go up two flights. At the very least, we have one convenient staircase here. What the? Are you? I was about to say, if I actually got stuck on literally air, I would have actually just all that for to be done with the stream. Boy, how many of you are there? There we go. There you are. Okay, it's on this floor. Wait a minute. Car issue diagnosed. What'd you find out? New scanning cycle. Module, limb, arm, left, found, location, Pavlov. Oh, you got Could you be a little more specific? This is terrible. The stalling is due to a misfire, which should be an easy fix. Nice, at the very least that won't cost you an arm and a leg. Disgusting. What does this even mean? I am sorry, dear comrade. This is the only data I have available. I hope I managed to help you. That's really fucking nice. Access granted. Okay, let's see. Wait, did did it? Oh, it reset everything. Okay. Well, may as well. I don't know what that. Uh. Uh. Vauxhall Garage would have charged me 150 bucks, 250 pounds just to diagnose it. Jesus. You know, yes, because I feel like I'm slower than I got than got than molasses sometimes. And health, because we are dying left, right, and fucking center now. It would be nice to be able to see like where something can be like purchased if you have the resources. Please select the desired. Uh, speaking of upgrading shit. Uh, yes. I'm missing quite a bit on that, yeah. Damn it. All right. And I'm missing that. I don't have the cartridge for that either, fuck's sakes. Disassembly. I don't need vodka. I do have quite a bit of uh, Kalash ammo, not too much of shotgun shells, and we are going to come up against uh, enemies that are more organic than, uh, than fleshy. I mean, organic more so than robotic. Oh, it's, it's been a lengthy fucking stream today, holy shit. I'm gonna grab the rest of that ammo as well. I think I'm gonna upgrade the Kalash to be like my organics killer. Probably should have done it the other way around, but fuck it. Too little, too late. Uh, 
Let's see. Upgrade. Svejdonia. Need more chemicals for that. Fuck. Oh. Do I have anything that I can disassemble that's like... There's that. I do not want to get rid of the fat boy rockets just yet. That's the only PM ammo I have. And it's a great fucking, um, like, point and click killer. Uh. I don't really use the capsules at all. Probably should, but they're honestly just not worth it in my opinion. Damn. And I need everything. Alright. Save up. Heal up. Ah, so that's how he does it. Cool. All right, save again. Go outside, go back in, save. Saving data. Fuck you. God, that shield is really good. Oh my god. I am happy that this door is closed. But it's probably gonna open as soon as I open this. Wow. A lock. Didn't see that coming. Oh my god, it's inside of that fucking beluga whale looking thing. Oh no. Okay, uh... Oh no... Okay, uh... Oh my god, I hate this... Why does it rotate a quarter? Literally fucking making this impossible. There we go, fucking Christ. Oh, I hate the I hate those kind of puzzles. Especially when they're limited. Why are there so many crafting machines? This whale's life was transferred into a polymer vessel thanks to the brilliance of Soviet scientists. Polymer mimetic adaptation owes its existence to these amazing animals. Is that a wall? No! Something worse, an enemy we have not seen yet. Hmm. Thanks to the talent of Soviet scientists. Still, this is this is Vulnerabilities. Silushes are resistant to gunfire. Use melee weapons against them instead. Scan your enemies. I mean, we're literally seven hours into the justice session. We're like thirteen plus hours into the fucking game. I know. This exhibit. May I ask you something, Major? If you could live on in another form after death, would you? Honestly? I mean, that depends. Am I still conscious just as, just as before? Is it still a usable form? If it's not a usable form, then no, just end me. 
But if it's a useful form, then sure, why not? Like... Hmm... I mean, after death. The thing is, that, that involves, like, dying, though. And... If you're still conscious after dying, then you're not dead. Nope. I like the form I've got, thanks. I don't feel like swimming around in a pool of goo. But all in all, does the idea of polymer immortality seem acceptable to you? Polymer immortality? I mean, just like any other thing. You know, if you want it, take it. If you don't want it, don't. You know what? Second option actually makes the most sense. Nope, if we don't get fresh blood in it every generation, we'll never have any progress. Because if you don't have the new generation, how's anything supposed to progress? Literally, the human mind does not adapt easily in the later stages of life. You need fresh blood in order, like, you need fresh minds in order to progress anything. See it from new points of views that you might not have had at your age. Nah, if we don't get fresh blood every generation, we'll never have any progress. I heard that in a class once. You're not exactly an optimist, are you, Major? How is that, op how is is that not optimistic? Actually, how is that not optimistic? We're literally talking about pushing the future of mankind forward. You don't do that with the old generation. The old generation are never gonna, like, fully adapt to new things. Or even embrace new things. We're kind of seeing that example right now in modern day. This is going to happen with our generation too. We know this for a fact because that's just human, humankind. <laughs> that is just human, humanness. That's why we have new generations of people every goddamn, well, what, 20 years? You need fresh minds in order to elevate the state of humanity. Like, we wouldn't have gotten this far if every old person was just immortal. Because they would have never have wanted to get rid of, you know, I mean, wanted to, like, get new fresh blood in there. You need fresh perspectives in order to, you know, continually survive. That's... How is that not optimistic? I mean, okay, maybe not optimistic, but it... It makes... They're making it sound like that's pessimistic. It's more realism more than anything. Like, if you don't have fresh minds, how are you to ever evolve? Not necessarily physically, but like, like progressively as a species. There's a reason why animals fuck until they have like no nothing left to give. They need to progress their species. Or else they stagnate both both like progressively and and genetically. Act. This whale was obtained by Mikhail Stockhausen, who piloted a whaling vessel for an entire week. I really couldn't care less, Charles. Yeah, I really don't care about that part, like, at all. I don't, I don't know why you even bother saying that. So what in the hell is this? Oh, is this Looks like an immortal thing? Just be careful. That is a specimen called Plush, or Ivy. It is extremely dangerous. And yeah, let me guess, it's about to break before. break out. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere? It's organic. And it's completely immune to frost. Ow. Whoa! Stop spewing shit all over me! Fuck off! Get off me! Do I even have anything that's like... That's why it gave so many opportunities. I 
doesn't even have a fucking fire attack. How am I supposed to deal fire damage to this thing if you don't... Ow. At least it absorbs one of those hits. Well, it's not completely immune, but goddamn, it's near close. At least it's dealing more damage now than it was before. I'm so confused how the fuck I'm supposed to kill this thing right now. Doesn't help that I really needed to scratch my fucking mustache. Okay, I need to bring back the, the Swede. Because I need a way to just, like, utilize the fire canisters. And I don't have that attachment on the, uh... On this melee weapon. So, what will it be, Major? The fact that I don't have a fire ability is so insane. Well, may as well turn that on. Like, that one away. Uh, crafting, cartridges, you can craft five and that's about it. Alright, plugged in, ready to go. Okay. What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful, that is a specimen called Pliush, or Ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. Wait, of there's course, two the of them? Farm is in there too. Why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere? <sighs> Fucking Christ, it hurts so much. <sighs> My god, that deals fucking nothing. Definitely dodge that! Why does it change the fucking key button like key inputs? Couldn't move, but whatever. It's 
smile. I don't think I can kill this thing. I actually don't think I can kill this thing. It is way too tanky. I, I have no idea how to kill this thing. You need fire, but you can't use guns. I'm swinging away at it with fire and it deals fuck all damage. This thing is not tuned properly. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or abilities? How the fuck? I'm actually confused how I'm supposed to kill this thing. Fading data. So, I just woke up and I had a brilliant idea for an exhibit. Well, it's not really an exhibit. It's more like an experience. Anyway, Wait. here it is. Visitors walk into a dark room. Grab a chirper. Wait, is this Bill Nye? Here's something like uh, read this, Tereskova. Imagine you're in a beautiful green field surrounded by an endless forest that stretches from one horizon to the other. You hear a brook burbling nearby, birds singing, and puppies. Lots of puppies. End recording. So while a woman's voice is describing this landscape, some patellas create a holographic image of it all around them. What's the point, you ask? Well, uh, to be honest, I don't know yet. But it's an awesome idea. I'll just have to explain why I woke up next to that Tereshkova. I am the perfect woman. I am present. I am at peace. A flowing stream, an endless forest, a forever blue sky. In touch with my inner God. Ah, turn it off! Turn it off! Okay. Okay, he's not in the game. That really sounded like him, though. Like his mannerisms, his inflections. Okay, so... How the fuck do I beat this thing? Authorization. Major Nichayev. How the fuck do I kill this thing? Hmm... Cause like, I don't have a fire ability. Frost did fuck all to it. Oh, I can return everything. I mean, that's basically like the pitch basic thing. Uh, return. So I can refund everything. Okay, uh... Hmm. 
The lightning didn't do anything to him either. Turn all that. Hmm. Yeah, because I just need this resistance right now. I have no idea what the fuck energy is supposed to be. Not gonna lie. that one, go back to the polymeric shield. No. I'm just trying to see if I can actually even beat this fucking thing right now. I keep taking damage when I'm dodging, so yeah, I'm taking that as well. Okay. Access granted. Okay, uh, cartridges. That many. And save in case I can so, make some some meds doing? crafting consumables damn I'm missing that all right can craft two of those it's something because I need that small little bit of help to help myself off okay Okay. What's that crap? Okay. How long? The canisters. Be careful. That is a specimen called Plush or Ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere? Okay, that is dealing a lot more damage. Ooh. Cool, huh? Fuck. Okay. Focus. Hopefully this doesn't deal damage to me because otherwise I'd be fucking angry. Temporarily stun it for a very brief moment in existence. Okay, this is going a lot better this time. 
I'm also not taking damage like nearly as much this time. Yeah, I think I found my my build for this boss fight. Whoa, what just happened? I uh, blocked that, but okay. It's gonna be F right now, right? I got this, I got this, I'm better. There we go. Fuck me running. That polymer son of a bitch almost took me out. Let's hope another one of those freaks doesn't come crawling out of the next canister. According to my data, the second canister is sealed properly. Okay, did I get it? Yep, there it is. Why the fuck is it even in there? Finally, I got all her parts. Thank fuck for that. Save. Fading data. That was definitely the most tankiest build I've used yet. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Alright, time to bring out the blunderbuss. Shotgun. Yeah, I should do it. Whoa. Hey, why isn't anybody working? They working on kicking my ass, apparently, because Jesus... Just took that massive laser in the in the back. Splooge. Eat physical blows, piece of shit. Ow. There we go. Can you take this? And for how fucking long? Not very. Not fucking very. Oh. Nurse? 
You okay? Snap, crunch, crack, collarbone, pain. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, no, it's not a nurse. Break, bend, snap, spine. Gotcha. I'll tell the tour guide I found one of her people. Looks like a med student. Wait, there's an actual tour guide? Cause I'm kind of curious. I'm, I'm kind of confused about that one. There we go. Oh. Come on. There you go, buddy. There you go. Okay. Unlocking this. Have you activated military drill mode yet? Molotov's condor is about to land. Everything's all set. I'm gonna go do it now. Uh, hurry, hurry! You only have a couple of minutes. Damn it. What do you mean a couple of minutes? Wait. Now that I think about it... Oh! Oh! We're not too far off the end of the game, actually. Because apparently the campaign's only 16 hours long. <laughs> well, only. Completionism is apparently like 34 hours. So... That's a thing. Here's your Here's fucking your arm. <laughs> Go ahead, fix yourself up. You're making me better, comrade. You didn't All need to shove her. Assembled. What now? Self repair procedure complete. I am ready for service. Thank you, comrade. We will now initiate the launch sequence. Second launch code sequence generated. Launch code sequences match. Initiating BDNH mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. Well, we got it. And here they are. Please, Comrade Molotov. I beg you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. There was a minor issue, but Major Nichayev, uh, forgive me, Agent P3, has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. That's not blood. It's paint. Really? Comrades, That's your excuse? You're playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. But first I'd like to know how you obtained this information. Yeah? From Viktor Vasilyevich Petrov. Mm hmm Your engineer. An outstanding roboticist. An honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. By your order, you are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the minister of industry, you know the consequences. Here is the procurator general's decree. The upcoming launch of the collective neural network will be canceled. And you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. 
Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Comrade Molotov, may I have a word with you in private? Why do I have a feeling he's gonna kill him now? <laughs> do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. Mikhail, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? What is he doing? Major, I asked you a question. Lock the door. What's going on? What? I said lock the door. What's going on? Uh... Um... The fuck? Drop? Uh, what? Huh? What? Huh? Apple in the in the loo? Huh? Apple pie? There's 99 of them? Wait. What is going on? Oh, that's definitely a, um... What's that like trippy ass um cartoon like like puppet show called on YouTube? Don't hug me, I'm scared? That's clearly a reference to that. What the fuck? So they're changed with their minds are like vegetables? Everybody's dead, but they're like just Appearing to look like they're... This... What? And they're growing batteries? I... Have never been this confused in my fucking life. So what, are they preluding to the fact that, that this is gonna cause a war? This is something straight out of, like, the time stop sequence in uh, Titanfall 2. Why am I furry? Why am I furry? Can't escape this. I am so fucking confused right now. There's a there's a grill. People are running for their lives.
They're getting ripped apart by explosions. This is graphic and trippy as hell. This is like something you'd see on like an 80s cartoon. Like it's colorful and like bouncy and cute and shit. And then there's just like random fucking acts of grotesque violence. This is the trippiest shit. Ah, polka dot tank. That's cute. Hey, yo. God fucking damn it. And they're launching nukes like it's nothing. Is there something inside? Nope. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this is the trippiest game I've ever fucking played. I I think I know what this is all supposed to represent, but I'm not even nine I'm not even one percent sure. Is this supposed supposed to represent like what would happen if they went to war? Are the apples supposed to be representing, like, apple pie? Like, all of this, just for... This is... The single most trippiest shit. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I wasn't sure what was happening there. They're clearly trying to tell us something. Do I know what that something is? Fuck no, this is... I think the, I think the only other game that came this close to being as fucking trippy is either Far Cry 3 or Far Cry 5. And neither of those games are this fucking trippy. Trying to grab as many apples as I can get. Okay, so that's where I need to go. No, 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 no. And one of them is just this random... Random one. Is that supposed to represent Xena, maybe? It's like, the main character, uh, Nechaev, apparently has lost his memory. So, maybe this is like, a warped version of his mind? As he's trying to remember what happened? I'm trying to reach that one. It's not easy. There we go, got it.
I'm almost there. Unless I've missed some. I have 99. I mean 91. Did I get it? I think I got it. I don't... Three, my boy. You're alive. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Comrade Sechenov. The government commission they're dead. Molotov's body is here. What about the others? How many people were with him? F Fifteen or so. Oh. The synthetic mummies. Some of them may have survived. Find out. Uh, what the fuck happened here? Who the fuck did this? Guess the robots got in. You were fortunate to escape unharmed. C Comrade Sechenov. What happened? All the members of the commission are dead. All of them. This is tragic. But it changes nothing. Nah, nah, something Collective suspicious here. We just went fucking completely. But what nah, I think I think he I think he literally activated us somehow. Here. Right? Handle it. Mikhail, head to the radio station and make sure power to the government line has been cut. Make it quick. Yes, sir, but the Kremlin will be expecting a report from Comrade Molotov. I will personally Wait. inform the Oh, that's just not a uh, wristband. Hurry, Mikhail. We don't have much time. Left, help her. Something fucking happened. How are you doing, my boy? Oh, I don't good. fucking know. I failed you again. This is too much. It's too much for all of us. This terrible incident. He doesn't look too broken up about this to begin with, so... What is going on there? They're doing something. Are they having forehead sex? What the fuck? What? I said it before, this game is horny. What is going on? Is this Russian foreplay? There's the thumbnail. I had no idea what it was for, and I still don't. It's some kind of... Oh, it's a key! Well, a pair of keys. So, why was that necessary for that oddly sexual thing? What? They were on something when they animated this scene. Ayo. Huh? Is it copying him?
Okay, so it just consumed all the flesh on his body. What? What was that? A tribute to the departed. A tribute? We just the watched. Of... <sighs> We've got a problem. The central hub is broadcasting. Someone is trying to send information to the West. Who? Who could have done that? There are only two people who could have done it. You and Petrov. Petrov's dead. I saw his body. Just his body. Petrov is first and foremost a head. What does that even mean? It was his body. How's that possible? Philatov. Hmm. When your accomplice is a neurosurgeon of Dr. Philatov's caliber, then anything is possible. Have you traced the signature? Petrov is masking his signature, but I'm sure he's in one of the scientific centers. What? Did you hear that, my boy? Go find him. Right now. Sure. I mean, we still don't know if we actually, you know, massacred that whole group of people. I think we did. Because I don't see us having lost a fight versus robots and not died. While everybody else just died. Charles. What the hell happened down there? What exactly are you asking about? You fuck. Well, first of Who all. killed the government commission? How did I survive? Sorry, I cannot help you. You suddenly lost consciousness as though you'd been struck from behind. When that happened, I was also disabled. What was that monster made of red polymer? That was a neuropolymer data storage. A data storage? What does it store? Dead bodies? The boss said it was a tribute to the departed. What's that got to do with data? You will have to ask Dr. Sechenov himself. For my part, all I can say is that Professor Zaharov died the exact same way. This is fucking nuts. I really thought the polymer was harmless. Fair enough. Find Petrov and return to Chelame as soon as possible. This will be the best outcome for everyone. Charles, why did that monster, you know, the red polymer thing, the, the data storage, why did it look like a person? Dr. Sechenov's idea. He wanted it to move independently. Why would a data storage need to walk around? So it could run off someplace and get lost along with all its important information? It won't run off. It's as loyal to Dr. Sechenov as the Ballerina Twins. When Dr. Sechenov releases it into the outside world, it always remains near him as an additional security measure. Security? So it can attack people? What do you think, Comrade Major? Why would a neuropolymer substance capable of dissolving a human being in mere seconds need to be able to move independently? Shit on a shingle? You're telling me that Jelly Man can sneak up behind someone and kill them instantly without leaving a trace. It does remind me of a certain person who died under mysterious circumstances and without witnesses. After slipping After and falling, slipping and falling, into, falling a into a bath. Crispy critters. Yeah, makes you think. I... I am so tripped out by this. A lot of things just happened, and I feel like I need a mental reset. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to call it right there. And I'm probably going to continue this on either Monday or Tuesday to just kind of wrap things up. Because my head is fried, and that last bit was kind of the final straw. Because, uh, oh my god... <laughs> Like, 15 different things just happened. One, we just randomly went into the most trippiest out-of-body experience I've ever fucking seen. Where we're collecting apples for apple pie. Every, every person was wearing polka dot suits and tanks were made out of polka dots. And, it, and th th there's a submarine with people celebrating, uh, like, cheering me on as I'm, like, riding on top of it. One of the people cheering me on was the same kind of, like, umbrella head wearing... What in the fuck did I just witness? I am legitimately just confused.
I'm just fucking confused. He's beginning to believe. Is this like... I don't even know where the story is going anymore. It gets... It gets better? Oh, like what? I'm gonna smoke a doobie and suddenly like... I'm gonna shoot plasma from my dick. I'm so fucking flabbergasted. This game is insane. Like, I don't know what to believe anymore. Like, why would you need a polymer to dissolve a human being in seconds if you're supposedly fighting for the greater good? What, why are the, what, what is the point of the ballerina twins? Are they just supposed to be hot? Do they, do they even have a purpose in the fucking game? Why did that whole sequence have to be a mating dance? What, what? Why did we have to see the most gruesome body de decomposition I've ever seen in my life? Did you hear the audio rip thing yet? No? Audio rip? From what? One of them has a purpose, don't worry. <sighs> Unless it is for Rule 34 reasons, I don't even know. The audio rip thing. No, I don't think I have. Because I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Bearing in mind, I'm on streamer mode in the game, so I may not hear the same, like, audio tracks that you did in your playthrough. I'm... Sh uh... On to the next session, I guess. Holy fuck. That was the trippiest thing I have experienced in a while. I don't even think I got all the fucking apples. I think I missed one. There's... There's a hundred and fourteen? But it said ninety-nine. I am... I am so confused. I am so goddamn confused. Okay, genuine question. Am I far off from beating the game? Am I, am I far off from beating the game? Because if I... It, if I'm really close, like an hour, I may as well continue on and just beat the fucking thing. Because, good lord. I... I'm just confused. You're decently... Okay, am I an hour or am I an hour... Am I like two hours off? If I'm two hours off, fuck it. I'll just do it on Monday. Because tomorrow is One Piece Day. Tomorrow is One Piece. Decently close. Because according to, according to Google, it said that, it, that the game can be beaten in like, um, what was what was it like? Sixteen hours, seventeen, little over an hour if you cruise it. If I remember, I'll I'll just wait then. Good lord, they're fucking idiots. 
Uh, I think I'm just gonna call it there. That that last bit right there was just that was exhausting. That was. Tomorrow, I'm gonna get on with more One Piece. Or maybe, who knows, maybe I'll just fucking start the stream with, like, the last bit of, um, of Atomic Heart before swapping over to One Piece. I have no idea. I... One Piece, yes. Fuck it. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll... Not because we didn't have a chance to fight, you know? Like, the other teams, it just felt like we... I'm, I'm just, just gonna raid Paul. So Fuck it. That... I'll see you all tomorrow with either the the, the finishing of Atomic Heart or uh, yeah, okay, yeah. or uh, or One Piece. That that legitimately fucked my brain over. Uh, I just started streaming and Weeds, I think, looking at me. Well, who the hell am I watching that? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I, just, I clicked over to Twitch and I'm watching a Korean person play. <laughs> watch. <laughs> what, who was I watching before? That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Is there a raid, Swede? Who was I watching before? What? I'm so confused. Oh my god, people are actually.